All right, everybody, welcome back on in. Hopefully, you're all doing well this evening. Hey there, green. Hey there, epic. No, you're pumped when when I play a ninja-related game. I'm glad to uh, glad to cater to your tastes. Anyway, I believe we got to the last world here in the game. So my goal tonight. It's to try and finish this up, and I have a couple other Xbox games we could throw on afterwards that I think would be a fun time. Um, but if you're unaware, we got, yeah, to the last world, we have to get our black belt. And it looks like we have quite a few challenges to do before we can do that. Uh, but we're making decent progress. This game is a little longer than I was expecting it would be. This but I honestly see that as a good thing. Outposts. You're on his turf now, and he isn't happy about it. I play Xbox, I know, crazy. Absolutely insane. Stay here and try not to die again. Yeah, hopefully you're all well this evening. I know I'm taking more days off, so I expect attendance is gonna be a little more uh inconsistent, because I'm being more inconsistent. So I totally get it. The fact that you guys are here despite that makes me feel better. Hey there, Cyril. You're terrible this evening. I hope you're. I hope you're just memeing. If not, I hope you feel better, man. Sorry if you're having a rough day. Hopefully, hanging out, I can at least try and get you in a better mood. Nothing worse than having to watch me. Really feeling the love. <laughs> nah, I know you're. I know you're messing. The fact that you're, like I said, the fact that you guys are here at all means a lot to me. Um, is there? How the hell? S tier streamer category. Do I really deserve that? I guess I'll take it. Oh, almost made it. You're watching me on your mobile and upside down on the TV. You laying upside down. Sound like Matt. Ooh, 
There we go. Okay, I was, I was about to ask. Uh, like, coincidence? Yeah, nothing wrong in uh, multitasking. I've often also watched multiple streamers at the same time. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna revive. Just get some health back. So yeah, the goal tonight is to probably finish this up. I doubt it's gonna take more than like a couple hours. Um, and then from there, I'm thinking I downloaded a whole bunch of new original Xbox games uh, on my hard drive. So we could either... I have a couple of ideas in mind. Maybe we could vote against a couple. Got invited to an online reality show. Online reality show? Yeah, I've been download... Yeah, exactly. The hard drive ready format. Just throw them onto the hard drive. They're ready to go. Pretty nice way of doing things. And I'm dead. <laughs> Probably won't do very well. So when you say reality show... What are we talking exactly? Yeah, the internet archive, exactly. Serial already knows. I was using a different site, uh, but it was kind of sketch. It was one of those file hosting sites where they really want you to get like a subscription so you don't have limited downloads. I don't like, I don't feel like paying. I'm glad I found the, the Internet Archive one, because I'm pretty sure it's all the same files. About 5% of them will have issues. What kind of issues? Just out of curiosity. I almost made it again. Some of the games in that directory are bad versions or dumps. The twist every round, which makes voting different. Makes different people safe from the elimination. Huh. Getting issues with system link. Okay. You had an 8.30 class today. Didn't get up till 6.30. 6.30 a.m. or p.m.? AM. Well, it's still an hour and a half early. To me, I'd be waking up like 15 minutes before class. <laughs> like, especially if it's online. I feel like barely getting up beforehand. I am not really a morning person. Okay, hopefully I don't mess this next part up. Not exactly sure how they want me to approach this. I would think it would just be a simple matter of kind of trying to hover over. Just seems a little bit out of reach. No, we got it. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, good on you for getting up an hour and a half before class. What is my GPU? It's a 1060, 3 gigabyte, nothing, like, super fancy or special. Well, this is exciting. <laughs> that was, like, the slowest rocket. Texas-born native. Hey there. Welcome in. Good to see you. Yeah, 3 gigabyte. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a weird card. I'll readily admit, it's not exactly a, a powerhouse card or anything. Oh shit, I botched that. <laughs> Damn it. And I'm gonna get thrown back at the beginning just for falling. Oh my god, that's frustrating. That's actually kind of rough. It's very easy to fall there. 
to start you back at the beginning of the stage every time is kind of a troll. You have a 2 gigabyte 760. I think I was rocking one of those for a while. But after a while, I'm like, okay. I should probably upgrade. Because that's the card I got when I built my computer, like, in 2014 or 2015. So it was, like, a long overdue upgrade. Okay, I'm really hoping. I'm really fucking hoping I don't fall off the damn map. Just gotta get rid of your original Xbox and 360. You can play the older games on the Series X. You can't play all of them, though. I guess if you're only caring about the, the more popular games, then yeah, you're probably fine. But I like the weird, obscure, retro stuff. Yo, who man got your, your Mac working again? Nice. Congrats. That's that's probably a relief. Now you don't have to buy a whole new computer. So congrats on that. Mine scan with the hydrate. Okay, just give me one brief set. Let me get rid of this guy first. Sorry, I've already kind of tried this level a couple times. I've been been dying more than I should. You gotta love bottomless pits. Here comes the spam. Of course. Do I need to make it even more expensive? Like, come on, look at this. Blast 2 coming in. This always happens now. You guys are crazy. Yeah, just get them all out of the way. Let me just chug my water. Is that all 10? Gotta go buy- Mine skin, you troll. <laughs> Absolute troll. And then people wonder why. People wonder, they actually wonder why. I gotta make it a 10 limit. Go animate. Just your way of saying hello. Putting me through torture. What is the super CD? I've... I don't- I don't think I've ever heard of the Super CD console. Okay, I need to get through this. Yeah, I haven't heard of Go Animate either. Yeah, I've never heard of a Super CD. There's a- there's a grapple right there that I keep missing. It's only been a day and I'm already rusty as hell. Ninja revive! Yo, hey there, Blast. <laughs> we're, we're doing alright. Is that the console that made Commodore bankrupt because it was so bad they lost all their money? The con It's a Commodore Super CD? Again, I have never heard of that. Okay, I need to not die. Like, seriously, this is bad. Need to not die here. I can't fall down this bottomless pit again. There we go. Simple. It was because I was trying to do the, the hover mechanic. And it's like, all I need to do is double jump and grapple. I don't need to bother myself with all the extra hovering. 
That should hit. Okay, good. Super CD isn't a thing. I was gonna say, I'm like, I feel like I would have heard of that if that was if that was a real thing. Yeah, there was the planned, but then canceled because Sony and Nintendo uh, didn't get along. Super Nintendo CD add-on. And then, yeah, there's a TurboGrafx CD add-on, but I don't think that was called a Super CD. Super Nintendo Sega CD Hybrid. Could you imagine? Come on. Wonder what Nintendo's next gen console is gonna be? That's a you know, that's a good question. I honestly think it's gonna be a Switch sequel. <laughs> it's gonna be like a hardware refresh for the Switch, I could almost guarantee. Because the Switch has been like their most successful console Ninja since the Wii. Ride! And you know they're not gonna repeat the Wii. They tried with the Wii U and that did not go well. And the the Switch is way too popular to just drop it. It would make a lot of sense for them to just make a more powerful switch. Yo, hey there, lightning. Welcome in. Okay, I can't go through there yet? Oh, of course. How are you doing tonight, lightning? You see the audio and video on a Super Nintendo? You kind of do with the SD to SNES? Destiny 2 came out on PS5. You picked up the newest DLC, already regretting your decision. Why is that? Lightning, I'm doing alright. What the hell? This is wild. They, yeah, exactly. They don't need a new gimmick. The Switch is enough of a... I, I mean, I'm not even sure I'd really call the Switch a gimmick. I think it's honestly got... A pretty useful feature, right? Like, I would argue maybe... The, well, I would argue... I, I don't even think anyone would argue against me that the Wii was a fucking gimmick. Like, let's be honest. The Wii mote was kind of cool. Playing Wii Bowling was definitely... Everybody had that Wii Bowling experience. But past that... Like, I can't really think of any games that utilize that controller to, uh... It made me think, man, this is really, like, the next, the next evolution of gaming. Went back to the mission, got to the end, and the game glitched. What a mess. Yeah, brand new state of the art, of course. 69420 is an actual zip code in France, really. I'm a gimmick? I mean, that's probably true. Big black empty thing. Huge void full of nothing. No gravity. The parties are pretty dull out there too. No atmosphere. I don't I already hate this. What the fuck? <laughs> uh Okay, I gotta stagger my jumps. That would have been good information. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why'd you cancel my glide game? Basically wasted an hour. Yeah, I was about to ask. I was following the, the Destiny BS. <laughs> After that, I get a little lost. Yeah, what's a zip cod? Zip bass. <laughs> a zipper. A zipper. -ch. I heard of the Pioneer Laser Active. I have. You found one? You actually found one. Oh shit. Dude, that's dope. No, I actually have a couple laser disc players, but no laser actives. 
Did it have one of the, um, the expansions with it? That's insane. Dude, congrats. That's like a, a pretty major find. Hopefully it had, like, the Turbo Graphics or, um, Genesis expansion packs with it. Alright, mine scan sounds good. Never get tired of Ninja Ribeye. Neither will I. Didn't have the expansions, damn. Not even the karaoke one. I mean, it's still a good find, absolutely. Those expansions, though, are gonna be real tough to get. In fact, they're, they might be harder to get than the actual system. I mean, it's already rare enough to find the player. You're gonna have to shell out some big money if you want to get the, uh, the expansion. Which sucks, because I feel like if I was in your position... Because you can't really do much with it. Other than play laser discs on it. Uh, unless you have those expansions. It's so, like part of me would almost consider selling it because like there's no way. I think those expansions are like hundreds upon hundreds of dollars alone. But there's also the you got to look at it from the perspective of you're probably never going to find one of those again. So as much as there would be a temptation to sell, probably be wise to keep it. I'm gonna say something that's guaranteed to confirm that you're different than possibly all of us. Okay, I'm listening. You piqued my interest. 2014, 2015, you were looking through a bunch of those PBS kids bumpers and video effects. That was nostalgic for you? Well, what era of PBS are we talking here? I'm not exactly sure I'd be all that nostalgic for it, but you know, I don't you know, I'm 23 now I'm trying to remember what I watched as a kid. My memory's not that good to begin with, so but yeah, you see certain things from your childhood and maybe you don't quite remember it, but you see it and like suddenly the memories kind of flood back. Blast is digging the PBS. Get over here. Cryo, thank you for the lurk. Appreciate it. Always good knowing you're watching. Ancient 23 year old me. Yeah, I'm, I'm practically a fossil at this point. <laughs> of course. Okay. Ninja More ninja ribeye. Prime meat. Yo, green with the host. Thank you, green. Speaking of PBS kids, you watch a shit ton of Word World. I don't think I've ever seen that. You say 2014, 2015. I'm assuming you were revisiting older ones. Because I was going to say, I'm definitely not going to be aware of those. Those were like new in 2014, 2015. There's no way. Sometimes you still forget and you're like an hour or two in. <laughs> you just don't put it. Hey, don't, uh, don't feel ashamed if you forget. No, I, really, I really like knowing when you guys are here. Even if even if you're not chatting, because I I don't I make a point not to check my users in chat list. I feel like that's almost like a violation of privacy. Like if if somebody's lurking and they don't want to say anything, that's fine. Um, and I want to respect that. So if I'm like peeping out my my users in chat, like I feel like I'm I'm not respecting that. So the only other way I'm going to know is if you use the lurk command. Oh, 
Word World was your jam. Hated the pig because he was big dumb. See, and I have zero context, so that, that sounds hilarious to me. More ninja ribeye. I need to stop taking so much damage. See, I'm out of the loop. I don't I don't remember Word World at all. Also had a big obsession with cooking in pies. <laughs> Okay, where am I going here? Wall jumping, I'm assuming? Yep. Uh, now what? Hey there, Brazilian. <laughs> Love you too. Always good seeing you. Uh, yeah, where do I go from here? Back up? No way. Actually, I think so. When your boss is in, you convince the boss that's in charge of spending to let you buy the one-up arcade cabinets. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, we actually finished the level. Look at that. Okay. You're getting NBA Jam, Galaga, and Pac-Man Mini. Damn, you're getting three of them? Quite the setup. Look at that. Alright. We're making gains. How many do we have left to get? Two, four, six. Looks like nine more. Should be able to finish this tonight. With some time to spare, I would assume. Um, can I go back and do. It looks like not. Let's see what Sensei has to say. Friend also called you last night. Yes, wants you to help him move. Tough. Willing to give you all the expansions. Wait, what? Chance on this mission. See you when you have your black belt. Your friend has the expansions. Yo, where do you lit? My God, are there just a bunch of laser actives in Texas? Like, who just has laser active expansions hanging around? You're in Canada. Texas born, but you're in Canada. This bunker goes deep into the moon rock. Super liminal. It's dark and scary. And I don't think I've heard of super liminal actually. Got anything tougher? That's crazy though. Like I've never even seen a laser active in person. I mean, you not only found one, but you know somebody that has the expansions. My mind is just blown right now. Basically, the further away you see something, the bigger it gets when it falls. AKA, perception is reality. What, that's the premise of the game? Ninja revive! Huh, okay. When did it come out? It's like a fairly recent title. Twenty nineteen. So like just over a year ago. Okay. I'm assuming it's on Steam. Twenty bucks. Twenty bones. That's my thing though. Like, I don't know, have you played all the way through it or are you still working? Sound like you were still working on it. Just makes me wonder how long the game is, because throwing twenty dollars at a game, it's only like you know, five hours. I mean I guess if it's a good experience, I don't mind, but I don't know if you guys are much about like the the price per hour ratio, but if I am gonna buy a game, I do kind of have to take that into account. I'm like, okay, how many hours am I gonna get out of this? Oh, 
coming through. The hard thing is finding the gate right. Yeah, good luck, dude. I wish you luck. Honestly, it's it's really cool that you even have that opportunity. Um, but it's not gonna be it's not gonna be cheap. Unless you're very patient. Ninja revive! I mean, I would personally love to have one just for the the novelty of it, um, and the fact that I I do like laser discs. Apparently, it's not that great of a laser disc player though. At least from what I've heard, which kind of sucks. But what are you gonna do? You probably don't care all that much about it being a laser disc player anyway. Yeah, I, I know I've only seen it on YouTube. Playthrough on YouTube is about an hour 14. Yeah, that's pretty damn short. Obviously, though, that's probably, you know, uh, not necessarily a walkthrough, but probably somebody that's edited footage uh, to cut out mistakes and stuff. So it's not a super accurate representation. Like, I kind of have to take those YouTube videos with a grain of salt. Yo, streaming Lehman, thank you for the prime sub. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy the, uh, the gif. Or gif. I keep going back and forth on, on that. Is it gif? Is it gif? Do I care? I don't know. <laughs> I know. I, I, I spent a bunch of time the other night putting a bunch of those together. I personally like it. And it fits the channel. I do enough bedrock bowling runs. Yeah, I figured you guys would get a kick out of the notification. I just had to. It's funny though, because when I'm actually speedrunning it, we end up skipping that animation every time. You don't actually get to see it. So I figure I'm like, okay, well it's probably not a dead meme for everybody. Since we skip it all the time. A GIF is probably giraffe interfering forces. So you'd say GIF. Which is probably correct. Not that it really matters, but I know some people are kind of uppity about that. <laughs> Oh my god, who man? <laughs> Just trying to read that message. That's one thing you learn on Twitch. I know I know you're memeing, but some people really do have a hard time uh, typing things out. Which is fine, but you do have to kind of read around spelling errors sometimes. Easy. Let's get rid of him. Man, those rocket launcher guys. Enjoying Super Mario Kart a lot. I'm glad you are. I like the two until it start kicking my ass. Yeah, it's already December, right? Weird to think about. What's even weirder for me is that I've been streaming for almost a year now. That's what kind of blows my mind, because it feels like I started, like, a couple months ago. Not a whole damn year ago. But, uh, yeah. I mean, hey, I'm just glad. I want to thank all of you, honestly, for supporting me through this, this endeavor of mine. And, uh, honestly, 2020 could have been otherwise a really shit year. Um, and I actually had a lot of fun this year, so. And a lot of it has to do with you all. C. 
Simpsons season 31. 31 damn seasons. That's just insane. I feel like they don't know when to quit. I don't know. Does, does anybody still watch the show and thinks it's still good? I'm actually... Like, I'm, I'm honestly asking. Because I'm, I'm curious. Because most of what I've heard is that it's dropped off big time. So it just makes me wonder. Next month will mark six years on Twitch. Yeah, what happened to the time? I mean, I've been on and off for years. But me personally streaming, I didn't start till last December. Like, mid to late last December. But I did watch Pete before that. Pete was really... It's, it's weird to think now, because I watched so many other streamers. But Pete was, like, really the only streamer I watched for a while. Same with Family Guy. All the jokes are like, Peter, remember that time you ate dinner at the Eiffel Tower with Vin Diesel? Yeah, like these... Well, the, I mean, Family Guy's even worse about it. All these, like, cutaway gags that are just, like... They feel like inside jokes from Seth MacFarlane that he's just made somehow commercialized. Spelling's a pain. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, it's time for obnoxious Christmas time. I mean, I dig the Christmas atmosphere overall. Space Station. Yo, hey there, 60. Welcome in. I tried watching a newer episode a year ago and it was pretty boring. It wasn't even bad, just boring. And to me, that's the worst thing a piece of media can be, is just boring. At least if something's bad, like, usually it's funny. So it's entertaining. But... Most boring yet eventful six months ever. You know what, Vlast? I'm just glad I've gotten to experience so much of my streaming with you. Especially, like, the games I've struggled with. You've, uh... You've been a big help. <laughs> I don't think I could... I don't think I could really thank you enough. This chamber breeds all of Odor's evil ranklings. Lay the smack on the crisis buttons and terminate his bloodline. Watch out for the blue Gino goo. It's a killer. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, to me, piece of media, the worst thing it can be is just boring and uninteresting. Like, take take The Room, for example. Or, uh, I watched a movie last night called Killer's Kiss with, uh, Nick Cage. Um, and I wouldn't say it was good. I'm not sure I'd go as far. I, I think there were some misguided choices, but it made it interesting and it made it entertaining. Exactly, yeah. Nick Cage movies are almost always worth watching. It's, it's so weird though, because he's not only given us some of the worst performances of all time, but he also won a damn Oscar. Oh. Okay then. Man, we have so many extra lives. Look at that. 20 extra lives. Crazy. We suffer together, truly. Well, I was talking about this with Mecha uh, last night while we were watching Killer's Kiss. And he made a really good point. That I don't think Nick Cage is self-aware. Like, he honestly, he gives it his all on every movie, despite how good or bad it is. I hack. No, it's just very easy to get lives in this game. That's all it comes down to. Instantly elevates everything he's in. Okay, I need to get out of here. I'm trying to jump! I'm not- I- maybe I'm wasting too much time down there? I'm not entirely sure. What the hell is going on? Yeah, so I need to be running. Okay. I see. So I'll hit one of them. And then I'll bolt my way up. Is this Ninja Gaiden? 
It's a weird, janky 3D Ninja Gaiden. And if you want to even compare the two, I'm not sure the comparison is a, a good idea, but... Because it's gonna pale. Pale in comparison. Okay, I see. I mean, that's kind of annoying. So every time we hit one of these, we gotta run back up. Of course, I'm way on the wrong side. It's like an okay idea for a level, but not. I'm not thrilled about it. At least it's easy now that I know what I'm doing. Yeah, Nick Cage kind of does elevate everything he's in. That's the thing, like, Vampire's Kiss. Otherwise, a boring-ass movie. Uh, not particularly well-written. I mean, there's some interesting things going on. I don't want to say it would be completely boring with somebody else. But I honestly can't imagine it done with anyone else. Oh, shit. I took way too long. Need to wipe all the other enemies out. Just go again. Do I dare? Okay, you can't hit more than one at a time. I was like, I guess you maybe you could. I'm not going to risk it, though. Oh, Blast, I also did take a look at the screenshots for the, the Game Boy Advance version. Man, they, that was that was wild. Like, they were trying to replicate so much of this actual game. Because usually, if there's a cross-platform title like that, the developers for the handheld version are totally different. And it's, like, basically an entirely different game. But it actually looked like they were trying to recreate this experience on the handheld and I'm like I okay I commend you for trying but <laughs> not sure how that would have played probably would have ran at like five frames a second okay so now we hit all four sides it reset Oh, it's a different half of it, okay. I went for two of them in one there. From what I was reading... From the, the link you posted, it sounds like they were just gonna do like a lot of the more minigame style. Like they were really gonna focus the ball rolling and the rail grinding. It almost sounds not quite like a mini game collection, but not like full levels either. At least that's the way I read it. Yo, we got it. I assume that's going to be it. We're close to it. Nice, okay. You know, I was expecting some of these later levels to be a lot harder than they actually are. Like, literally the only reason that other one was kind of hard is because there were some bottomless pits that I was falling into. But, like, that was kind of a breeze once I got into the swing of it. Yeah, we'll probably... I'd be shocked if we go past 10 o'clock playing this. So I'm glad I, I have some other games lined up. The Imperial Guard. Can you smell that? That is the stench of Odo's bodyguards. 
They are the last line of defense before you face the Emperor. I just realized the, the, the enemy's name is Odor. That's the villain. Odor. Like Odor? That just kicked in. After, like, eight hours into this game. <laughs> so bad. Well, these enemies are something. <laughs> Not sure how to feel. I think I wouldn't mind nearly as much except for the high-pitched screams. And the fact they keep spawning. That's kind of a deterrent as well. Yeah, what are these enemies? I guess I was being a little too nice about it. That was basically what I was asking in my head. I'll be honest. What the hell's up there? Oh, that's it right there. I love, I love when they tease it this early into a level. Wait, is it is this level really this short? No way. Yo, Leah Master, thank you for the host. Good to see ya. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful evening. I wonder if I can make that. They're almost kind of teasing us. I mean, they definitely are teasing us. But, uh, I'm like, I'm wondering if it's even possible right now to get up there. Is that ninja from Fortnite? No. It's not from Fortnite. <laughs> Believe it or not. So you can only jump once. I'm wondering. Did I miss anything down here? Oh shit. That ninja's bright blue. Yeah, this is like a dark blue. There's a difference. I think I do just need to kill all the enemies and the spawners. Uh, get over here. When these enemies are almost easier than the uh, the regular ones. Like, come on. It's like not even a fight. Okay, let's see what happens next. I'm assuming there's gonna be some kind of change in the level design. There we go. Okay, so that's gonna lower. That answers our question. Can I go right for it now? They spawned some new enemies in. do this. Our lightning attack should wipe everything out. Easy. OP move is OP. I think I just go. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. That might be the end of the level. 
A little short but sweet level. Assuming that's all it is. Oh shit. See, that one makes me wonder. Can I actually jump that and make it? I think I can if I just time it right. Well, this one's moving, the other one isn't. There's no other enemies, though, on the map. Okay, there we go, made it. Now, uh... There we go. Got it. Getting closer. Making some progress. Again, I just... Like, the whole idea of a, a high score from a game from 2003. It's like the, the remnants of, like, an outdated system. Like, who's really gonna care about high scores in iNinja? <laughs> Can I ask? Hey, Ninja. If you are looking for some action, there's none here. Go back to the other areas and look for more grades. Okay, so we finished everything. Finished everything here that we can possibly do right now. That's gonna be the final boss. I would assume. Uh, hello. Are you suicidal? This yeah, Odor's, Odor's den. den. He is the judge, jury, and executioner here. If you go in there now, you won't come back in less than 37 bite-sized pieces. Only, Only the skills, the skills of a black belt. Will prepare you Yeah, it's a blue ninja with a red belt. <laughs> Do you want to go? Shh. Yes, well, moon surface. That's all clear to me now. I gotta go back at least one area. I think technically we just did two areas. Okay, is there anything else here that I can pull off? These are all locked to black belt. Fairly certain. Oh, I can check the progress screen. Yeah, they're all locked to black belt. So I gotta keep moving back, actually. Need to find some more challenges we can actually pull off. Mountain Gorge. Okay. Do you want to? Yeah, whatever. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, I could check the areas to see how far I actually need to go back. These are all locked to Black Belt as well. Wait, how am I supposed to get to Black Belt if everything's locked? There's a couple extra challenges here that I haven't done. Okay, there's a bunch in Jungle Falls. Brazilian, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Hopefully you're you're doing all right this evening. I'm important. I don't know if I'd go that far, but I'm glad that somebody cares for me. <laughs> okay, so I can go back and do new new challenges in all these yeah we'll definitely be finishing this tonight in fact I don't really think it'll take all that much longer I'm thinking like within two hours easily we only need to do six more challenges before we can face off the boss Um, and I don't think I'm going to go too far beyond that. Just because this game is a little longer than you might expect. Like, we've already been playing this for about eight hours now. Including the, uh, the last stream. Beat the clock. The grade in this level is a... Shh. 
speed run time. Beat the clock. Oh, it's this one. Okay. I think I should be able to do this pretty quickly. Hopefully. Should be able to, to work something out. Got five minutes. Oh, that's right, this rocket launcher guy, though. He's a pain. Wipe you out. The thing about this being timed is it's a little frustrating when you gotta wait for platforms. We need to get all the way to the other side to uh, break the terminal there so we can get through. It's like they're encouraging going as fast as possible. You're kind of locked onto the path of these boxes. Now I gotta go around again. Can I make it? I can make it. We got it. And now we wait. <laughs> Ooh, that was kind of a close one. I took a chance there. Luckily it paid off. Like, we've already spent a minute and a half in this first room. Yo, hey, they're awful. <laughs> Welcome in. Oh, are you kidding me? I missed the jump. Now I gotta do it again. Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. Of course. It's like awful comes in immediately. I gotta mess up. Well, that was way faster. Instead of waiting for a cycle there. That may have been a bit blessing in disguise because now I'm much further ahead. Come on. Yeah, it's so agonizing. Waiting, waiting. You're bad like me. Ninjaflex.com. That's a real website. What's on it? Sorry, luck. Yeah, who needs luck? Soon I'll be crushing monsters and punching drywall. Thanks to your bad influence. Well, isn't that just a, a side effect of being named Kyle? Those are all like total Kyle activities. Crushing monsters. You know, the usual. <laughs> what? What was that jump? Bro, I'm actually kind of pissed about that. How is work? By the way, I haven't started yet. I go in on Thursday. What the f- I'm hitting invisible walls. No. I wish it was today. Wish I could get started. It's been a very slow process getting me onboarded. Mainly because of the damn drug test. It's a ninja and a bicep, and it says ninja or flex, depending on which one you hover over. Yo, Aurora. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Trying to finish up my ninja here. We're getting close. We're getting very close. Thank you so much for the raid. I saw you were playing some more Alundra tonight. Been on the grind on that one. You must be enjoying it.
Blast, thank you for shouting. Out of Rural. Deserves it. Another good retro streamer. I've started to get acquainted with. Never heard of this. I think most people haven't heard of this. <laughs> I think it's safe to say. But I'm liking it. I, I think it's like a decent little 3D platformer, honestly. Uh, we're getting like right toward the tail end. We're getting ready to face off the final boss. Long game for its type. Been fun aside from platforming on occasion. Is it is it jank or is it just frustrating or maybe both? Because when I've stopped in, I don't think I've seen any like severe platforming. Yeah, don't blame anyone for not knowing this. This is uh yeah, this is admittedly quite obscure. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's a it's a game from my childhood, or at least I knew it from childhood. A little bit of both. It makes sense. PS1 era. I mean, like like we've discussed, right? It's an RPG first. Platforming's probably not the uh, the main focus. Frustrating jank on a PS1 game. I know, it never happens. Say it ain't so. Okay, I do need to speed up the bit here. So we're doing a time trial right now. We've already done this level, but uh, you need green with the rip steakhouse. So you need these these medals here to get the next belt. Obviously, black belt's the final belt. We're one away. Steakhouse doesn't exist. Gotta rub it in. Rift, you have 100% and achievements on this game. Seriously? Okay, so I did fall. My time got reset. Damn, true fan. I'm a little surprised, honestly. I would not have thought... Somebody in Twitch chat would have also not only played this, but like finished it out. Yes, the Aurora Raid. Means a lot, honestly, every raid. No matter... I know some people worry, like... You know, because I, I get smaller raids too, and they're like... Sorry, it's kind of a small raid. I'm like, yo, the fact that you even thought of me to begin with... Means a lot. You'd share your community with mine. Okay, you need to die. <laughs> it's being stubborn. A lot of people on the streams give... Or have give streamer positive vibes. Wait, what now? Yeah, all raids are beautiful. I'm trying to read your comment, Green. I mean, I'm always about the positive vibes. Steakhouse vibes it different. If I want to mourn the steakhouse in a fantastic way, go to Chronic Taco. Is that a local chain? Can I get that in the Oregon area? I was gonna say. God, I only have a minute and a half. This is no good. Reward points that can give streamers positive or negative vibes. It's a chain owned by Wee Man. Wee Man of Jackass. He owns the chain. Incredible. I have a minute to do the rest of this. It's possible, but man, it's gonna be close. Come on now. What's up, Rift? Okay, let's not fall here again. I'm not sure I'm gonna make this. I hope I do, but... <laughs> it's gonna be a close one. In fact, I don't think I am. 
Oh, you thought it was mini ninjas? Yeah, it's not mini ninjas. Actually, somebody else thought the same thing. And I don't blame you at all. Me speedrunning games has prepared me. I don't know. I'm not doing all that hot. In fact, I'm probably gonna run out of time. So yeah, we've done all the, like, mainline missions. Unfortunately, you do have to kind of go back and do some extras in order to get the proper belts to continue. Yeah, this is no good. We got 10 seconds left. I might as well restart. <laughs> Not going fast enough. I played a superhero game on stream. Uh, not really. Not that I can think of. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is going well. You know what? Uh, let me try one more restart. <laughs> the damn rocket launcher guy at the very beginning knows how to mess me up. Dude, come on. Give me a break. There we go. Yeah, people love to spam. It's crazy. I figured having it set to 500 points would kind of limit the spam a little bit. It's done nothing. It still gets spammed all the damn time. Favorite superhero game. I honestly can't even think of any that I've played. I've played like, oh, well, I guess Batman. Arkham Asylum, that counts. I, that would probably be my favorite. But I haven't played Mini to begin with, so I, I don't really feel comfortable saying I have a favorite. When I've only played like, maybe three. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, come on. I will say, I'm not impressed by this ninja's jump height. I'm gonna be that guy. Spider-Man friend or foe? Is that a, is that a 360 PS3 era? <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to go too fast now, I think. It's a legitimate problem. Oh, it's PS2. I'm about to die. I should make that. I'm just barely off. I'm just barely off. I'm trying to save as much time as I can. Because we're on a timer. The the regular version of this lets you go at your own pace. But now they're forcing us to complete it in a time limit. Kind of like Origins. You all can make fun of me now. Well, I never played it, so I can't judge. I'm just... If I avoid the enemy. Okay. New strat. If I just don't bother with that enemy. I'm not gonna bother with either of them, actually. Oh, the movie? What, Batman Origins? Oh, X-Men Origins. My bad. Batman Origins. Tells you how much I know about superheroes in general. I I don't know. I'm I'm a bit of a film snob, I'll be honest. Bit of a film snob. Uh and to me that I don't know, superhero films just don't do it for me. Not saying they're bad. In fact a lot of them are very well made. I just they don't personally interest me all that much. Yes, Batman Origins. Think of Batman Begins. 
The tiles are close enough, right? Come on, ninja. Like, pretty- I don't even think I've seen a single X-Men. There we go, okay. We got- Did that a lot quicker that time. Helps that I replayed it a whole bunch. Just die, come on. There we go. Okay, we got three minutes. Is the I think the next room is the last room. It takes a while, but I think that's it. If I have three minutes to do this room, I think I can manage. When am I speedrunning this? It's kind of a long game. I don't know. It's something I'd speedrun. And I'm not particularly that good. I won't say never, but I wouldn't hold your breath on it. <laughs> Yo, hey there, Bowser Jr. You got 197 stars. Well, you got further than I did. By Galaxy 2, I was kind of, I wouldn't say noped out, but I didn't really feel like I needed to play a whole lot more. Get those skips. Need the speedrun strats. Could you not block everything? Oh, come on. These guys are going to be all of my time loss. There we go, that's much better. What will be my next speedrun? It's hard to say. I'm not sure. I typically... I don't know, I've, I've been doing this a lot more lately because I, I was feeling a little bit of burnout. As soon as I start planning out what I'm going to play, that's when that's when I start having some issues and I get a little burnt out. If I, if I just kind of go with what I feel like playing in the moment, I'm much more likely to... Not only have a better stream, but uh, just enjoy myself more. As soon as I start trying to plan everything out. And it works for a while, but when you're streaming like every day almost. Just was not going to be able to sustain that. Okay, we have a minute and a half. I think I might be able to make this. It's going to be kind of cutting it close. That's how you are with streaming. If you have an, a schedule, you get anxiety and feel pressured. One, well, it was worse for me because I wasn't working either, so I felt like extra pressure to, you know, keep the channel growing and everything. It's just kind of unhealthy. Because you can't predict how things are going to go. Please don't kill me here. Would you die, please? Oh, come on. I have 46 seconds. This is going to be so damn close. Be cutting this to like the last second. I got like 40 seconds. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it's it's it is a lottery. I mean, I think I think some of it can be down to just hard work. Um, and in fact, I you know I saw being consistent helps a lot. Is that one not turned on? They better all be turned on. Okay, they are. Okay, we got it actually. Um, but, like, consistency does wonders. I think I've only grown so much in, you know, the past handful of months because I've been consistent about my schedule. Unfortunately, that's sort of coming to an end. 
I'll still try to be as consistent as I can, but, you know, I'm expecting a bit of a drop. Like, you can only do so much. It's also the game, too. Yeah, being variety is difficult, but it's what I like doing, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna drop that just because I could be more successful doing something else. Yeah, people, not everybody likes seeing different games all the time, that's true. I don't know, it's a risk I'm willing to take. I'd rather be less successful and play what I want to play than cater to the normies. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. I need five more till we can finish this game off and go final boss. No, it's absolutely personality based. Hopefully some of it's game choice as well. I, I like to think people are here because they want to see things they've maybe never heard of or heard of in passing but haven't tried. You know, I personally take a lot of pride in showing off games that otherwise don't really get played all that much. So. I'll admit, I'm a little selfish about it, but I think it would be more selfish to play, you know, go against your own beliefs and against your own interests. You know, if I became like a Fortnite streamer, like that's literally the antithesis of who I am. Yeah, I mean, I just try to be myself. I think there's a lot of people on Twitch that aren't themselves. I, I, yeah, I never beg for follows. I don't beg for subs. I, I just don't feel comfortable doing it. If people want to, perfect. You're helping me out, but if you don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force you to. I think asking for follows is especially dumb because they can just as easily unfollow. Like I'd rather if if somebody's not gonna follow, um, or if they're, you know, if they're on the fence about it. I don't want to push him over the edge because I'd rather I'd rather not gain a follow than gain one and then lose one. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Oh shit. Green should you follow me? I mean you already are, so uh <laughs> Oh, that's right. I need to be killing enemies. Hello. Like trying to skip them. The whole point is we're killing enemies. I might... We'll see how this goes. Some of these can be kind of difficult getting every single enemy. He sucks. Boo, Kyle. Yeah, he's garbage. Don't bother. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I know what I do is pretty niche. Like, I'm, I'm fully well aware. You know, I have... When I started streaming, I had no intention of... Making it big time or anything. That wasn't the goal. The only reason I was streaming so much is because I literally could, and I didn't have much else to do. Um, and I love doing it, so... Like, if I was... If, if the opportunity to arose that I could do it full-time, I, mean, I think I've said this before. If that opportunity arose, yeah, like, I'd totally take it, but I sure as hell don't expect it. What's the video? I will say, typically, if you're gonna send me a video link, I ask uh, to put in the Discord, because I, I don't really check videos midstream. Unless it's like, it's probably just a meme. I'm seeing Kappas in the lols. It is a meme. Okay, maybe I'll take a brief glance. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course.
I mean, I, I, here's the way I'll put it. I try to be somebody that I would enjoy watching. It's probably the best way I can put it. I know that's not gonna, that's not gonna gel with everybody. Uh, cause like you said, my game choice is weird. Um, I don't play the same thing every day. So I know it's kind of hard to get people in when you're constantly switching things up, but... I don't know, I... I personally enjoy when people play variety. All my favorite streamers are variety streamers. I couldn't watch the same game over and over. I'd get so goddamn bored. Should get the Streamlabs bot so I can have sound effects commands? I mean, I've, I've been kind of doing that with bit alerts. My worry is that, I mean, I see how people spam the hydrates. Imagine if you could play sound effects on command on my channel. I feel like it would just become a shit show. I know, I know a lot of smaller channels do that, but I feel like it would just become too much. I know you can make cooldowns and everything, but I'll consider it. It's something I've thought about. I have a nice window. I'll think about it. I mean, and then the other question is like, what sound effects do I even put on? I feel like a lot of a lot of sound effects I'd want to do are make for good like bit alerts or sub alerts or. I'm like, chat's already enough of a meme. <laughs> Do I want it to invade... Invade the audio as well? A spam- yeah, never. Never happens. I'll think about it. Again, I feel like- I feel like I've already become enough of a meme. I feel like a soundboard would just like... Add on top of that, but... do this. Wipe them out. The one thing you suggested, Green, I mean, there's been so many suggestions lately, and I admittedly haven't gotten all of them. Don't remember. See, exactly. I, I don't remember either. Set it to use channel points. Can you do that? Can you integrate channel points with Streamlabs? I had no idea. Bowser off to bed. All right, good night, Bowser. Keep grinding out a uh, Galaxy too. That is as long as you're enjoying it. Streamer you watch does it. Yeah, I'll look into it. Again, just with the way hydrates go. Like I think I have that set ridiculously high. I see a lot of other. A lot of other channels that do hydrate, it's like a hundred. For me, it's 500 and it still gets spammed within the first, like, 20, 30 minutes of stream, which I just find insane. Get ready. Get ready for what? Dio raid? Is what I'm guessing. I feel like if Blast is saying get ready, that only means a couple of things. How do I throw the shurikens again? What? It's gotta be one of the face buttons. There we go, it's why. Could you stop shooting rockets? Yo, there's Dio. Dio, Blast gave you away. There we go. Does that not count? We get some glitchy frame rate. It's all the shurikens freaking out the game. Hello again. Blast definitely wasn't here the whole time. <laughs> Misplaced your headphones. Guys, let's all pretend that I said something really mean about Dio. <laughs> Double chatting for the win. Okay, here's the deal. 
I need one of those darts. But I used it already. So I gotta hope there's one back here. Bubbly memed you yesterday? Why? What'd she do? What'd she manage to pull off? Bruh, this kind of breaks the game. When I need a dart, they only spawn in one? Uh. Oh, in Slavic's chat? Yeah, I was kind of in and out on Slavic's chat. What did she- what did she do to you? There it is. Okay, then it respawns. I gotta walk. Gotta walk away let it respawn. There we go. Okay. So we're like a third of the way through the level. This is a very long level, I apologize. A lot of these levels are quite long. Bubbly's apparently Slavic's number one now. What, number one mod? Can you call out a favorite mod? Like, I would never think to do that. <laughs> How can I choose a favorite? I feel like I modded all of you for a reason. Because I like you as human beings. Like, let me choose my favorite friend. <laughs> self-promoted but still so bubbly was stating that she's Slavic's number one we didn't actually hear from Slavic himself epic going to bed all right good night epic hopefully get some rest hopefully school is uh bearable tomorrow Okay, let's get our ninja ribeye. Ninja ribeye! <laughs> Wearing wired earbuds like a plebeian. Dude, I can't do earbuds. I've never been able to wear earbuds and like be comfortable with them. I don't know if it's just me, but... I like, I need over the ear. Have I seen Pointful at all today? She was in Dio's chat earlier. I think Pointful has just been lurking a lot more lately. Which is fine. I mean, being here at all, like I said earlier, being here at all, leaving me on in the background is uh, more of a compliment than probably most of you realize. It really helps me out. Yeah, earbuds, yeah, I just... I don't, I've never meshed with them. I'll use them if I have to, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. <laughs> that's that's how I'll put it. Okay, so we've killed 42 enemies. We need to kill 86 total. Should get there all right. Don't even think you could do Raycons. Never tried Raycons. Yeah, but I I, I probably wouldn't like them. I, I need my over the ear. It's like sticking something inside of your ears and then also... Also the fact that they like gather earwax and shit. They're not comfortable. Typically sound worse. I mean, there's just like a bunch of cons and like maybe a couple pros. Literally, it's just the portability aspect. That's like the only advantage. Exactly. If they were free and my headphones were broken, maybe then you'd get me to wear them.
Okay. More ninja, ninja ribeye. Revive! Can't help it. I did hear a dog. Wait, hold on. How long is this game? It's looking like eight or nine hours at this rate. Well, it's already been... Wait, hold on. Yeah, it's already been like eight and a half. Dude, it's going to take us like close to ten hours to beat this damn game. I mean, I guess it is what it is. You killed Mr. Krabs? What do you mean you killed Mr. Krabs? Bastard throwing mines. Oh my god. Dude, die. Crab boss in Mario. Wait, there's a crab boss in Mario. You know, I haven't played it yet. I've been slacking on that one. Need to get around to it for sure. Guilty loves that game. Absolutely adores. Superstar Saga. Okay, and I believe... Yeah, this, this is the last section. I hope we didn't miss any enemies. We got 57 out of 86 right now. It's a shorter RPG, so I, I'd probably have the attention span for it. I think I'd like it. I probably would. I just need to get around to it. How short are we talking exactly? Not that that really matters. I'll probably play it regardless, but... Honestly, if you were to play all the Mario and Luigi games, say play the OGs. Unless you want it to feel the same. So you wouldn't recommend playing all of them? This enemy cracks me up. It's like the most dorky looking enemy. And it's so easy to cheese. Maybe tempted by graphics, but play OG Superstar. BIS. Ninja revive! You have a biased viewpoint, fair enough. Okay, game. Just need 20 more enemies. We're out of here. Sixty-nine. Sorry, I had to say something. It's required by law. We're almost there. Seventy-one. Almost there. Fifteen more. I'm a little worried we're not going to have fifteen more enemies, though. I'll be honest. Come on. Do you mind? Bruh. Please. It's supposed to be easy. Being extra cheesy. There we go. Come on now. Uh, 
stop blocking all my hits. Please. You fuck. Oh my god. There we go. Come on now. Let me just wipe him out. This is less believable than Naruto fights. I mean, they're oddly mundane. Like, they, they look cool, right? But it's pretty basic, just... Swipe at him. There's, like, not a whole lot of depth there. I, I'd argue there's more depth fighting the regular enemies. In a lot of ways. Damn it. Can't just do that. I wish. This should get us over that threshold. I see a spawner up there. It's a good sign. Eleven more. We need six more enemies. Are there going to be six more? The only thing. Your buds are good for is laying on your side. Yeah, like being in bed, like listening to a podcast or something. Like then I kind of get it. Otherwise, not so much. Very specific use cases. Or if you jog a lot, I could definitely see it. Go running. Damn it. Are you kidding me? So I fell off and now I gotta re-kill these enemies. Better make it quick. Sorry, I gotta replay this now. Camera wasn't exactly working with me. Yeah, hey there, Mecha. Yeah, it's exercise and portability. That's really what it comes down to. Ninja revive! Uh, and since I'm a Cretan, neither apply. <laughs> I think once I start work, I'm probably gonna be listening to stuff. It makes me wonder if I'm gonna if I'm gonna bring earbuds. I might have to use earbuds. Hopefully the stereo is decent. Buy new headphones for work. We'll see what the we'll see what the situation's like. If if the if the car has bluetooth That's all I'd need. That way I don't have to deal with headphones at all. And there was a checkpoint right there, of course. Okay, we've missed like five enemies, apparently. I think there's gonna be one... There's gonna be a couple coming up here. Three... Okay, that's gonna be 84. I'm hoping there's this one other guy and then the, the flying one. Uh, got 84 out of 86 and this guy's gonna be one of them that's 85 out of 86 bro where did I miss one enemy One, we're one enemy shy. I'm gonna make sure not to pick it up. Ninja, Where did I miss one enemy? Uh, uh. 
We gotta go hunt for the last one. Three of the recommended streams for you are Kingdom Hearts. You even watch Kingdom Hearts? Yo, hey there, Sinful. Welcome in. I gotta go hunt for one enemy. Pain. Watch Nikki play once, like a month ago. And yet, here you are. For like five minutes. Why wow, we gotta be one enemy off? Like, I'm not gonna quit out. We're gonna take the time to find this last one. I'm hoping it's it's simple, but... You never know with this game. Ideally, we would have gotten all of them just in the first run through, but... Of course not. I just now realized those textures back there with the pipes, why are they moving? They look like metal textures. Just the complete annihilation of a Christmas tree crab. Sounds like an eventful stream. I'm just hoping I see like one enemy chilling out somewhere what I'm hoping for. There's no way they're not, they're not going to spawn enough, right? They wouldn't do that, would they? Or like this map was never actually tested to make sure this was a completable challenge. Having the number one off. Okay, I went that whole way. No enemies there. I almost fell into the objective. Okay, we'll check this path. And if it's not there, then I honestly don't know. Maybe there's the one at like the very beginning. I can backtrack to where we spawn in. Usually if they're in boxes or barrels, they they break out when you get near them. So I'm going to break these, but I don't think they're going to be in here. Just chug the water bottle laying down your, on your bed. Is that bad? I don't think so. I mean, the only, the only reason I could see that not being a good idea is just like choking hazard. But obviously, you, have, you, you know, you're still here, so you haven't choked. Come on, where is this last enemy? Game, work with me. Please. Killing me here. Did you spill water over yourself? You've done that once? I've done that. I've done that on more occasions than I'd like to admit. And not even laying down. Mind you. Please be somewhere up here. How is it this hard to find one enemy? Yeah, not laying down. You spill stuff all the time. I try not to be a klutz, but I have my moments. I'm just hoping there's like one straggler that I missed. 
somewhere. I really don't want to have to do... Like, honestly, the last 20 minutes would have been a waste of time. I can't find this one enemy. There's nobody. Okay, we're gonna go back to the start. <laughs> Why'd you be like at the very beginning where I spawn and there's like one enemy I missed? No. Yeah, what the fuck? We're one enemy off. Like, I actually can't complete the level. Yeah, Hydrate's already got spammed. I'll give this way one more go. Deal with the rip steakhouse. More like rip my progress here. This is pain. I managed to miss one enemy. And I die. Me me dying should count as killing an enemy. <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad if I go through every square inch of this and we still don't find it. Are you kidding me? The enemy is the stake out he's not here anymore. We're looking for something that doesn't even exist. Nar. I'm not gonna rage, I'll just be disappointed in the game. I should be done here. There we go. Is that so hard? Please. Please let me find this last one. I'm begging. What if one just like fell off that we were supposed to kill? Like it just fell off a platform? That's- I'm, I'm kind of starting to think that might be what happened. Because a lot of these areas there's... Bottomless pits. All it takes is one to fall. That I didn't kill myself. <laughs> that could be the whole reason I can't progress. Oh, I think I heard something. Oh, never mind. Just the whoosh of the turbo pads. This game really that bad? I don't know. I hope it's not. But I just wasted the last 20, 30 minutes. It's a real crisis. It is. The severity of this is undeniable. There's nothing here. We already went through here. I'm one enemy shy and we're gonna have to throw this all out. What was that? What was that noise? See, now I'm just getting paranoid. Good games at least have the decency to count falling enemies as player kills. We went through the entire level. I got 85 out of 86 enemies that I need. What's the point of having an enemy counter if I can brick? Good question. I honestly don't know. Uh, but I, I can't do anything else here. I've scoured the entire level. That is some bull shit. I double tracked the entire level. You did not complete all of the yeah, fuck you, dude. Oh my god. There's a chance if I do it again, it would work, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'd rather find a different challenge. So we're gonna go over to the other side of the level. I'm gonna do something else. Wait, that's open now. That was never open before. Hold on a second. Ah. Uh, what what am I looking at? Hey there, Lanky. Welcome in. That's just open now. I have no clue what it's for. 
My grades don't come cheap. Would you? Mega chain challenge. Eight hundred coins. You fucking rip off. Use your ninja skills <laughs> to get the grade. Hopefully, uh, we do all right here, though. This is an easy one, typically. At least I don't have to worry about BS enemy kill counters. I almost botched that. Run out of time. Got it. <laughs> First try, let's go. Makes up for the last however long that took to go through the last level. Okay, we only need four more. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, Lanky, hopefully you're having a good night. Doing all right. We're getting cl very close to the end of this game. Very close. I believe that's the exit. That's right. I was gonna go up the other side. Check what's up over here. Wait, I can talk to the bedrock bowling runs after this. Is there a reason for me to do more? I was kind of thinking, uh, I was kind of thinking Pocket Bike Racer. The Burger King game. I don't know, that's what I had lined up. No, Lanky, this is definitely a fun game. Just know that, uh, there's some extra bonus challenges that may or may not annoy you. <laughs> Just leave it there. Yeah, it's a Burger King Racer. I figure that makes a little more sense than Bedrock. I don't know. Cause I mean, I already have... I could try for hard runs, but who knows how well that would go. It really depends on how long this takes. How we're feeling after that. Okay. Sneak into straw. Oh, is it this level? Find the red coinage. Oh, and it's red Find coins? All the red coinage in the mission. We're due for some Smurf break. content. Nobody's beat my record. Stay I have no reason to run that. Because not only was it a really damn good run, there's no competition. Like, if somebody beat the record, yeah, I'd be, I'd be on it. Or are you just saying Smurf in general? I'm sure I could find some other Smurf games. <laughs> But I don't have any lined up for tonight. Probably way more than you'd expect, Blast. Like, way more. Too many. Okay, I see at least one red coin. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything here. I could see them putting, a, you know, a red coin in the corner at the beginning. Gonna pull up the Smurf wiki. We must find out. Okay, avoid him. Die, please. Yeah, they're gone. Okay. Dude, I gotta check every barrel. After the last couple red coin levels, I'm like super, super paranoid. Because sometimes they'll just hide them in barrels and not even, not even tell you. Just have to find them somehow. He's coming right for me. Smurfs on ColecoVision. Is there... I'm, just, I'm assuming there's a ColecoVision emulator. It's kind of a... Definitely a niche. <laughs> T 
even more niche than my usual. I knew it! Oh my god, dude. Cheeky bastards. Argonaut trying to be sneaky. Like usual, and getting away with it, too. Give me- No, come on! I almost- I almost made it. Barely within the area. Okay, puts me back here. Let me get some health back. Probably make it. Maybe. No. No, I cannot. <laughs> he gets way off over to the side. Yeah, I can make it now. Those sentinels are, uh... Not one of my favorite enemies. Because I'm impatient. I'm bad at stealth. Okay, let's check boxes. Gotta love collect-a-thons. Looks like they're actually being kind of nice. So far, they've all been out in the open. I still don't trust the game, though. Still need to get the red coin that's over off to the left there. Actually, I think we have to go back around anyway. If I remember right. Let's go this way first. Oh, damn it. Okay, we're back here. Can I make it through? I can. Maybe I do need to go back. I'm forgetting this level. This is a pretty sprawling level, in all fairness. Yeah, no, we need to go back. Damn it. Was that really that other pathway? I, th I thought we had to go back. But I think that one might just be a dead end that they just troll us with. Uh. Yeah, it's, okay, it's just the long way around. Red coin's way over in the corner. They're all waiting for me looking the other way. Wait, they're not even, like, fighting back. What the fuck? Oh, come on. Come on. Where are they going to spawn me? Okay. This actually works out. There we go. I, th I don't even know if you can get that without getting caught. We got half the coins. Let's hope we're not wasting time and I like miss one. It's my like worst fear with these damn coin levels. I'm just gonna miss one somehow. And then I either gotta backtrack the whole level or start over. Feel like there could be one in that corner. Is it just me? I don't know. I have a hunch. Let's check. 
I just need to know for my own sake. I could see them putting one in a barrel here. No, so far none in barrels or boxes. I'm like honestly surprised. Because I've done that before. There's one there. Let's see if I can grab it. Uh, not quite. Okay, got that open. Forget how much longer this level is. It's been so long since we played this one. Oh, come on. Okay, we... Wait, what? Why do we only have three coins? Are you kidding me? That's some bullshit. Gotta do these coins again? Why they gotta do this to me? Okay, speedrun strats. <laughs> See, I've, I've been dreading these red coin ones, but I'm like, at some point I'm probably gonna have to do some of them. I'm getting worried. Don't want to fuck this up. Okay, get the door back open. Okay, we're basically already back to where we were. Don't turn around. Just keep moving. Keep moving, robot. Don't mind me. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Okay, at least we still have our coins. That's all that matters. If I had lost those. Damn it. Maybe a better spawn? Oh, come on. It keeps walking toward me. Gotta wait for it to come the whole way down. How many more of these? Okay, I gotta do four. I'm gonna try not to do red coin after this, because these aren't my favorite. But we're, we're kind of running out of options of what to do. Let me check these boxes. Just in case. Nope. Red coins. Where are you hiding? There's one. Okay, we're up to seven. Uh, I guess that works. Okay, and there's a checkpoint. Thank God. Check these barrels while I'm at it. Nothing. I think we're getting near the end of it. From what I remember. Just a matter of finding these last three. I swear, if I get to the exit and we have like nine again. Oh, I'm, I'm dreading if that happens. Get 
Get some uh, ribeye. I feel like I gotta make that some kind of alert now, too. Okay, another red coin. Okay, that gives us up to eight. It's good. There's one there. Okay, that gets us up to nine, so there's gotta be one other. They do drag on, don't they? It's unfortunate. If they if they just made the levels a little shorter. Uh, it would be much easier for me to recommend it. Because we're not even 100%ing, keep in mind. We're just doing stuff so we can actually finish the game. It's kind of like Mario Stars, but... I don't know, I would argue this drags on more. I think overall it's still worth playing. I'm not sure I'd recommend, like, finishing it up, though. I think after the first five hours, you've kind of seen all the good stuff, in my mind. Guess what, though? We're at nine, once we get that one. It's not ten. Unless there's one chilling on the other side somewhere. I, I, there's just gotta be one. There has to be one. No, don't pick it up. There has to be one in here somewhere. Please. Please. Trashy with the host. Thank you, Trashy. Don't pick up the metal just yet. Oh my god. Yes, okay, we're done. We did it. Can't say I totally dug that. But, you know, you gotta take with the good, or you gotta take the bad with the, the, the good, right? Just three away. Three away. We're so close. Overall, I'd recommend it. I do like it. Oh, we got a new sword. There's a lot to like. I just think the game's a little too long for its own good. Um, and it, and it kind of takes the, you know, the, the classic Mario style of adding multiple challenges for each level. Multiple stars, if you will. Um, but I feel like... Like, red coin, Like, I don't know. Red coins... Just bother me. Same with the blue coins in Mario. Just anything about collecting coins through a level just doesn't appeal to me. Just doesn't. It's good with the bad. You know what I meant. I butchered the saying. Let's see our progress. Uh, so eggshell skull. I don't know what that is. Basically done everything else though. You can go back to Jungle Falls and do some. It looks like Bombay, there's some. I believe Heart Attack was another red coin one that I don't want to do. <laughs> so, okay, let's try Jungle Falls. Jump and grind should be quick. If I can find the right person for it. Remember growing up, always enjoy the first mission of every level then it, Yeah, exactly, right? The first mission's good. If, to me, if you could just play the first mission of every level and get through the game, I think it would make it a lot more, a lot more enjoyable. Leave the optional kind of side content to people that really want to do it. I think making it part of the main game drags it. Do you want to go back to the jungle fall? That would be my major complaint. 
And I feel like a lot of other 3D platformers around this time suffer from that same issue. Where they try to make what should be optional content forced. Like, let me just play the basic mission for every level. And that should get me through the whole game. Okay. This is probably what I was looking for. Hey, I'll take shh. Wanna buy a shh? Wanna buy a test? Yes. This should be a quick one. There's coins as well. Okay. Ate my jump input. That's fine. Oh shit. Always wanted more levels just to get to the finish goal and not the other. Yeah, exactly. Like, give me more levels. Don't reuse the same levels and just, like, make them slightly different. Make different objectives. Like, that's fine if you want to do that, but making it part of the main game, it's unnecessary. Now we're only two away. That was a quick, easy one. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll check here as well. If it's not a red coin one, I'll probably do it. It's another... Oh, it's another sneak level, though. Find the red coinage. Yeah, it's red coins. All the red coinage in the mission to activate the grade. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say no on that one. I'm gonna say no. Where else can I accomplish something? Ride the logs. That was another red coin one. I'm pretty sure. Let's test this one. See what this is. Buzz off. Wasn't this a kill all the enemies? Another red coin. Why? Why? I gotta force me to collect your damn red coins. We're gonna keep going back. <laughs> I think that was everything there that I could do. I don't know where Ninja Ball Extreme is. I think some of these are locked unless you do everything else in a certain level. You want to return? Yes, take me back. Okay, uh, what about here? There's way more open here. Shoot the ships, I tried. Um, and we, we had to get a high score. And I was like, 80% there. Chase the fuse. It's probably got another red coin. This, this could be an easy red coin, though. You have got all the grades for this mission. Oh, we already have them all. Want to play for fun. No, I don't want to play for fun. Playing for progress. <laughs> need to be need to be getting somewhere here. Rocket factory. I think this is kill enemies. Hunt the enemies. Seek and destroy the number of enemies. Uh, Rocket Factory is a shit level. It's my least favorite in the whole game, I think. I'm pretty sure I could say that. Maybe this one. Find the red coins. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Because it's a short level. So yes, it's red coins, but I could actually see myself finishing this. In finding all the coins. Okay. I am going to check the barrels, though. Like, all the barrels. Because you never know. Really? No. Wait, what's down there? Yeah, there's a red coin down there. Of course. Dude, I didn't even know that was an area. 
I had zero idea this was here. Okay. Let's break that while we're at it. Oh, just barely missed the cycle. My almost I am very close. So to actually play the final boss, you need black belt. And we're only two challenges away. So yes, we're we're very close. Extremely close. So the plan is to finish this tonight, and then from there I've got a, a couple of different ideas. I think I know what I'm gonna play. It's not set in stone, but I think you guys will like it. I know I'm gonna like it, so. Can you have a hint? Ah, uh, well I already said what it was earlier, so I could just say it, unless you really want to play the guessing game. I figured there was going to be a red coin over there, but there wasn't. We've only found one. Can that be right? It's not Simpsons wrestling. What? Yo. I'll rip me. I almost thought that was a red coin there for a second. <laughs> I did legit do a double take. You're stumped. It's another original Xbox game. It's excl I okay, this this hint's gonna give it away right right away. But it's a game you could play on both 360 and the original Xbox. And it wasn't just like a backwards compatibility game. Literally, there are on the same disc, there are different builds for the 360 and the original Xbox. So if you know your if you know your Xbox history, it's uh pretty much gives it away right there, but it's not Halo. Because if you put Halo into a 360, it's it's running off backwards compatibility. Unless you're talking like Master Chief Collection. Oh my god, I ran right into that. What was I thinking? <laughs> I wasn't thinking. That's the problem. I could really give it away and, and say it has to do... The game's one giant advertisement as well. Pretty much. It's a game... It's, it's an advertisement disguised as a video game. The tie-in is real. I better we find some more red coins. This level's not that big. There's one. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, what? You you were on the right track. But it's it's a different one of the Burger King games. I was gonna play Pocket Bike Racer. Since I am a kart racing fanatic. I didn't even bother to check around here. No. So because it's a short level, they're just gonna hide the red coins. Never heard of it. Yeah, there was actually a trio of Burger King games. There was Sneak King, Pocket Bike Racer, and uh, Big Bumpin'. So there's three of them, actually. I could see one being behind here, but it's not. 
Where are they putting these damn red coins? This is insane. I don't think they put them in explosive barrels. I can jump off, though. We're like over halfway through the level, and we only have two of the ten coins. Something's not checking out here. Yo, hey there, Keeb. How are you doing tonight? I, I'm i almost guessing they're going to put one way up in here somewhere. Shoot. I'm doing alright. I can't complain. I'm trying to finish this game. We're so damn close. We're two, we're two objectives away. From getting to the final boss. We're like basically in the home stretch. Please tell me you put one in here. Come on. There's gotta be- yes, okay. It wasn't all in vain. We got a red coin. Still only 3 out of 10, though. I'm starting to think they're putting them in explosive barrels, too. Which is so shady. May I just say... Okay, there's two there. There's one down there. Maybe they're just all stacked in here? Would they do that? Looking like they might. Oh my god. That was close. There's one back there, too. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the barrel, like, right next to the... Like, well, I guess I could just blow it up. Maybe I won't just to be safe. Because I don't want to accidentally end the mission prematurely. Ah, there's another one. Gets us up to seven. Seven out of ten. That should stay safe there. Uh, let's check down here. Eight. Okay. Okay. Just have nine and ten be, be in here. Make my life a lot easier. Nine. Come on. Where's number 10? Dude, I bet it's back in the level. Yo, hey there, Boat Ladder. Welcome in. I can almost... It's gonna be back in, in the level earlier. Alright, we're gonna do some backtracking. Wait, unless it's up there. Let me check up there. If I can get over there. How are you doing tonight, Boat Ladder? Hopefully you're having a good evening. Shit. Nobody saw that. I'm not even sure I can make it over there. Oh, almost. I'm doing alright. Doing pretty well. Can't complain. We're very, very, very close to done with this game. I don't know, I'm starting to think the devs would do something like this. The 
question is going to be, how do I get up there? Maybe if I jump off the barrel? Although I think I can only single jump on the barrel. Let me test my theory real quick. Oh, I can double jump. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try this. Oh. So close. I, I could almost guarantee the barrel exploded, too. I have a hunch. Oh, wait, no, it's still there. Watch me go through all this, like, and it's not even going to be there. It's going to be somewhere else entirely. I think I'll try this a couple more times. If we don't get anywhere, I'll backtrack a little bit. Um, um, but if we don't find it anywhere else, I, like, I have a hunch. Oh, so damn close. So damn close. It feels possible, though. I have to know. Oh, there we go. It was. It was. Of course. Is our barrel still intact? Probably not. Well, we got the coin, but now we gotta go all the way back. Unfortunately. I probably, you know, I probably should have just blown the... Should have blown the lock off of it. While I was there. I don't think it would have ended the mission, but... Just trying to be careful. Either way, we got it figured out. And then after this, we only have one more challenge. And then boss. Getting close. This game is way longer. I've been telling everybody. Like, this game is way longer than I ever would have expected. It's like shockingly... Uh... A large amount of content. Yo. There's no barrel. Uh... Was the barrel there? And I just didn't see it? I guess I should have checked more thoroughly. God damn it. Of course. That's right, it even plays a cutscene if your barrel gets destroyed. Start over time. Fuck. <laughs> don't mind me. I don't think they're gonna make a start over, I swear. I think the barrel's somewhere in that last room, and I just didn't see it. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> At least. I found the coinage, but at what cost? That's true with a lot of these later levels. It's like, okay, you did it, but at what cost? A lot of this st stuff takes an oddly long time to accomplish. We're almost there, though. I'm really hoping the damn barrel's there. It's gotta be. Otherwise, I'm screwed. I'm like, I actually can't do anything. That's not it. Where the hell did it go? There it is. There it is. Can you play this on 360? I don't actually know if this is backwards compatible on the 360. 
I want to say yes, but only on the 360. I know it doesn't work on the Xbox One or the Series X, but I would, I would look into that. Don't take my word on it. I actually found the barrel. What, you just wanted to be here forever? See, and I could have done that anyway. If I had just done that beforehand. Okay. One more challenge, guys. That's all we need. We're so damn close. It's just all about finding that last one I actually want to do. <laughs> That's gonna be the trick. Because we've done most everything else here that I care to try. I believe that's the same for the first level, too. Ooh. Yeah. I, th I, I thought that was going to be 100%ing, but it wasn't. Sly Ninja and Ride the Logs are both red coin. Crystal Cavern, I believe. That was the enemy one we couldn't actually finish because the game tricked us out of it. Okay, I'm going to try Heart Attack. I may or may not regret this. <laughs> Do you want? Because Blast, I had thought I had read somewhere that this is only four areas. It's actually five. So just with the amount of grades we had to get left, I just figured Black Belt was going to be optional. Um, but it's actually required. Find the red coin. Yeah, this is red coin. I'm going to try this one again. Because at least I like playing through this one. Maybe I'll regret saying that. <laughs> We're literally in the final stretch. Okay, no coin there. Oh, come on. I got far away enough. Dude, could you not? Bruh. I thought he was going to continue walking. Okay, please move. If that's where he turns? No way. I feel like that barrel's going to have a coin in it. Like, I just have a hunch. Yep. Fucking knew it. Um, and I know there's one right over in here somewhere. None there. One right, right there. Because we tried this before. I didn't manage to find them all. Uh, do we think? Probably not there. We're already three in. That's pretty good. Check these barrels. None in there. I'm hoping we can actually pull this off and this will be the last challenge we have to do. I don't know if they'd put red coins in those terminals. I feel like that's real scummy, but on the other hand, I could see them doing it. Do I like Pokemon? I Pokemon's a series I can't really comment on just because I haven't haven't really given it enough of a chance. That'd be my that would be my immediate answer. Um, I I've, I've thought about trying to get into it, but I'm not exactly sure where I'd want to start. Um, and if if I'd even want to stream it. So. Although people probably would be, they'd probably dig 
watching somebody who's never really played many of them at all before. Trying one out. Because I had like, I think I had Diamond on the DS. I didn't play much of it though. There's one back there, I had a hunch. Okay, that puts us up to four. I don't know, I almost have to wonder, I'm like, did we 100% this? We're gonna be pretty damn close. Start with fire, red, leaf, green, or black and white. Always gonna be your recommendation. Uh, fire, red, leaf, green is GBA, correct? And then black and white are DS. Right in that prime Pokemon age, you say. Oh, damn it, I missed it. Had the right idea. That's not gonna get us there. Trying to convert Kyle. I mean, I do want to try Pokemon. It's not so much a conversion, more just a... That's a series I've been meaning to try. There we go, got it. Okay, that puts us at six. I could see there being four throughout the rest of the level. Bubbly, we are one challenge away from the final boss. Getting very, very close to the end. Just make sure there's nothing else. Okay. Uh, the 8 out of 10, the problem with barrel coins? I don't remember. The levels are kind of blurring together. I'll be honest. I mean, I already found one barrel coin. Let's do this. We haven't seen this enough. Need to be using this more. No red coin in there. I was kind of hoping there'd be a red coin sitting in there somewhere. So far, we're at six still. So there's four left, and we gotta use the ball. Uh, I know there's, yeah, there was one in here. This is at seven. I could see there being three. Is that enemy in a cell? I think. Check these terminals. You never know. I'm like, they could throw red coin in there and we'd be none the wiser if we didn't check. Okay, so three while we're rolling here. You can definitely see it. Yo, Barf at the raid. Welcome in, guys. Barf had the stream go. Okay, I'm checking for red coins. Sorry if the, the camera's a little... vomit-inducing. <laughs> I apologize. Right. Playing games and demos. Horrible Contra game? Oh no. Well, hopefully at least had a good time with it, even if it wasn't the best game. Gotta check everywhere here. I'm afraid I'm gonna miss one. In fact, I may have already. We're at eight. 
There's got to be two more in the last little bit here. Second game was more fun. Someone told you to tag games and demos. Yeah. Whoop shit. Yeah, I've had more luck in games and demos than, like, if it's a real obscure game. I am staying afloat. I go in for onboarding on Thursday for work. My sleep schedule is, like, severely messed up, though. So hopefully I can, uh, go in with some sleep. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> Most likely. Okay, no red coins there. Call me crazy, but I gotta check. <laughs> yeah, fucked up sleep schedule, gang. Luckily, it's not that bad. Um, and this and this job is is like a early afternoon into evening kind of shift anyway. So I should be all right. Need a hands raised emoji. I wish we had more emote slots. It's too late at this point. I'll deal. Okay, and there's a red coin. Why do I feel like that's the end right there? We're gonna get to nine. I hope I'm wrong. Not tomorrow morning. I start Thursday early afternoon for onboarding. I don't. I, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be actually doing any work that day, but I need to go in, provide you know proof of ID and all that, do some paperwork. I'm hoping there's one more coin. Proof of P cup. Affiliate required to reset? No, 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 no. They don't reset. If I go into this room, it's over, right? I got 9 out of 10. If you started tomorrow, we'd have some issues. I don't think we would. I go in at 1 p.m. <laughs> not exactly, like, early. It's not even 10 o'clock for me. We missed one coin. Where did I miss a coin? Yeah, Tyler, the affiliate requirements do not reset. That'd be horrible. Are they based off rolling 30 a day? Can you actually lose affiliate? I mean, I guess if you're trying to get it and you hit a requirement and you're still waiting on others, yeah, they can, they can drop back below, if that's what you're asking. That is true. Oh, you can't? Yeah, you can't lose affiliate. But if you're trying to get it... Yeah, once you have it, it's there. Okay, what else can I try? Like, I can't try anything else. Affiliate haven't streamed since June. Hey, sometimes life gets in the way. Uh, do I try this? I, I put enough work into it, I feel like I should. We basically have it. Again. Need 30 followers? Well, I'll follow you. These rank sentinels are Assuming I can here. You, Why is it so them. hard to follow somebody? In OBS. It's like impossible. There we go. I was going to say, I'm like, anybody trying to get a, to affiliate, gladly follow. So I think I got all the red coins while on the ball. Did I get like, was it six or seven that I was at when I started? Would they put a coin in a cell and would that surprise me? They probably would and no, it wouldn't surprise me.
There were none here. There's one. Oh shit. Yeah, get into that three average followers when you start, man. I remember that being rough. I think that's for like most people, that's the hardest part. Unless you got like a whole bunch of friends that are willing to have your stream open all the time. If, if we get through this again and I don't get all the coins, I might try that high score one again. What if you set up three VPNs? To this day, you still don't know how you got affiliate? I mean, you have to put some work in, right? I don't think it's any, uh... I don't think it should be any surprise. Yeah, it's like kind of a catch-22 at the beginning where you need to stream in order to get your average viewer count up. But a lot of those streams you're going to struggle to get the view count. And then it's like you're just tanking your average viewer count because you're trying to get it up. Um, but I'm glad you're seeing some progress. I mean, I'm just really glad now that I'm streaming less. People haven't, like, totally written me off. Because, <laughs> honestly, I worry about that. I'm like, if I stream less, are people just gonna stop tuning in as much? Because they don't expect when I'm streaming. Luckily, haven't had to worry about that yet. Been wishing I was gonna stream more. I are well, I was already streaming like fucking full time. It was insane looking back on what I was doing. Like I'm so glad I did it and I had the opportunity to, but man. I was basically doing it full time and not really getting compensated for it. You loved it. I mean I did too, but unfortunately, like, I gotta I gotta make ends meet at some point. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just glad to be making any money. Because it helps me do a lot of the things I end up doing on this channel. And, you know, like buying systems and hardware and equipment. But, you can't, unfortunately you can't live off. You know, a couple hundred bucks a month. If I could, I would. Yeah, exactly. And again, it's not to it's not to belittle anybody that that's subscribing now. It's just like the the numbers don't add up. It it sucks, but it is what it is. Paid for six months. See, yeah, no, I know you're memeing. But I, I honestly, in the back of my mind, I worry some people actually have that, have that thought running through their mind. Like, you know, I subscribed assuming he was streaming every day. It does worry me. I know I, I know I shouldn't let it, but. Of course, Tyler, glad to help you out. Hopefully I can stop him when you're streaming. Okay, wait, don't we have... We had seven last time. Right? I had seven going in. We only got two coins. Damn. I'm not sure we're gonna get this. I'm gonna I'm gonna it's it's gonna be interesting to see with work how often I can stream. I'm gonna try and do it as much as I can, but you know, there's only there's only so much time in the day, so I'll, I'll try to make it work. 
I think I said in Discord I'd try to stream at least two or three times a week. I'm hoping for more than that. But I just thought, make a conservative estimate that way. I'm setting people's expectations. Um, but they, I might be starting later just because of work being kind of a late shift. <laughs> Everybody wants to hang out. Which is weird because in high school, you know, I had a friend group, but I was not that popular. <laughs> like at all. Uh, I would, because I really didn't even come into my own until like maybe senior year, and even then. It's debatable. Uh, Trashy has streamed with me before. In fact, we did uh, we did some Lego games together. Um, I also got him roped in on speedrunning for a bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure with free time, I'll I'll get him in here. Trashy, the future Mao is a world record holder. I hope so. I hope we can beat my time. My time is not impossible to beat. Obviously, I put a lot of work into it. That's probably one of the, the records I'm more proud of, but there's definitely still r plenty of room. In fact, Matt's some of best is better than better than my time by a decent margin, so he could easily take it back. Trashy could take it back. Hey there, Chi Chi. I'll come in. Hopefully you're doing well tonight. We are literally at the the end, the end of this game. Yes, real Xbox hardware. I have a bit of a treat later on. Wait, did I? Yo, did I get that one before? Did I miss that one? Need the old duo back together. There is, I think the VODs are still up. We've done stuff together. Just not super often because he's obviously busy with schoolwork. But yeah, he's, he's like in the midst of finals week right now. In fact, he's almost out. So maybe we'll we'll see what we can pull off. Fighting your ISP, but you're vibing. <laughs> I can relate. Especially when the stream just craps out on me for no good reason. Luckily, haven't had that issue as much lately. I think it's also... I think I was actually streaming too much for my ISP. I feel like they started to cut me off a little bit. Yeah, okay, we got all the coins. Somehow missed one. But we got it this time. Alright. We're literally almost done. Once we get this last coin and finish this level off, it's final boss time. Got it. Finally done. That is the, I think, the third attempt of that level that we did. Rogue Corpse. Contra Rogue, Rogue Core. Have unlimited in regards to usage. Yeah. I thought I did too. Turns out we have like a cap at like a terabyte or something. We got our black belt, finally. I've almost been playing this game for 10 hours. That's how long. Oh my god. But you are a killing machine. Here is your black belt. <laughs> Look at how many more you'd want to do to complete the game. Gross. Actually gross. <laughs> I think college is overrated in 2020. It depends on what you're going for. Thriner, they got spammed in the first 20 minutes. It was horrible. Um, it really depends on what you're trying to do with your life. Um, for what I'm trying to do, I'm not sure it was the best move, but... I got... Nearly a full ride. Um, so for, for my case, I'm like, okay, the worst that happens is I... I graduate and I don't do much with my degree. It's still... It's still a degree, though. Say if you're really tight on money and you're trying to do something that probably doesn't require it, like, you know, music. Anything in the arts, I would 
maybe consider. Beyond here lies thinking about like other avenues, but again, it's it's hard for me to say. <laughs> Yo, hey there, Rai. The egotistical ninja. All he thinks about is himself. <laughs> Fair play. True. Can't argue with that. I, I don't think there's a way for me to teleport. Yo, Chris. Hey there. Good to see you, man. Uh, can I just warp? Yo, Ed Starlight. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. <laughs> Makes up for somebody else who unfollowed earlier. <laughs> no, I'm just messing. Uh, thank you for, for following. Appreciate it. I kind of... The game's been good. It's This is a long game, though. I'm, I'm shocked. This is... I'm almost 10 hours in. Saving points for the raffle entry. I... Okay. I'm going to warn you. I, I'm, I'm kind of at a weird spot right now because I am streaming less. I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep the game raffle up. Because um, it's already kind of hard for me to choose games to play. I'm gonna have to reevaluate what I'm doing with that, unfortunately. Yeah, we're 10 hours in almost. But I have not played Mystical Ninja Gomon before. I, yeah, no, I haven't. I think I'm gonna just start doing. Yeah, we, we may have to. The, the game raffle may come to an end. It was good while it lasted. I'm just worried. I, I really don't like when when somebody wins it and they have me play a game and I'm just not into it. Um, and then plus trying to keep up with it while also playing stuff I know I'm going to enjoy. Especially now that I'm going to be streaming less. I'll try to either... Can we get a token redemption? Possibly. Again, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of spitballing here. I haven't totally thought it all through still, but... Shit. Saved it. <laughs> 24 hour stream. I can't. Dude, I got work coming up soon. Rip Steakhouse and Game Raffle. Come on, Ninja. Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> There's Chris. The Rift Steakhouse. There we go, finally. Weird hitboxes. Missed the Scientology propaganda game stream. Oh wait, this is Malachi. I'm in the wrong area. Uh... Where do I go to get out of here? Oh, it's the damn Moonstone thing. Yeah, I mean, I have my limits. I've done eight hour stream. I think eight is about the extent what I want to do. Cough, cough, enter the dragonfly. I, I've been looking into Frogger too. I, I'm probably actually going to play it. Hold up. Okay. Teleport to the moon. Let's get this final boss done. I don't think I did 10 hours. Maybe 9. I don't think I ever did a 10 hour stream. I'm not that crazy. I, I make up for it by just doing long streams in general. Like, Bubbly and uh, Mecha did 12 hour streams, but they don't stream for nearly as long as I do otherwise. So it's a, it's a bit of a difference. I feel like it all kind of depends on your usual schedule. 
I, I don't think I did 12. One night you went to bed and woke up early and I was still on. I think the latest I've ever streamed is like... Yeah, I want to say like 7 to 4. Did 4 tonight and it was exhausting. I, I don't think I ever did 12, Barf. I could be I could be wrong, but I'm I'm fairly certain. Yeah, the Lego game. I think I think with Lego Star Wars we did about an eight and a half or nine hour stream. And that's that's one of the longer streams I've done. Uh, same with Mauza. Six and a half. Yeah, I when I've regularly done like seven, eight. <laughs> Like the last, like the last I Ninja stream, I went for seven fucking hours. Step one. Playing this. Step three. What happened to step two? Step two. Ah, here it is. Good luck. Don't lose your head. All right, guys. Final boss. Why do you gravitate toward cartoony arcade games? I dig these. I've, I've been getting more and more into these platformers. They had to ruin it with fart noises. You must be the fat of course. Who's been out the town Chamber of Secrets was crazy fun. I am the great Harry Potter's always good. Me, dog. About to be Gex 2. It's not going to be Gex 2. You will eat those words, boy. Prepare to die. It already seems way easier. How do I attack? Destroy humans on Xbox? That got remade. It's a new version of that game out. I'm not entirely sure how I do damage to him here. It's not clear. Okay, come on. You the only one that didn't care for it? I, uh... I don't care for the series so far, what I've played. But I don't feel like that's fair to say, because I played the one on the Wii, which... is actually, like, known to be garbage. What do I do here? So far I've just been avoiding. It's obviously not doing much of anything. I thought maybe I could ricochet him back, but it doesn't look like that works. It's a charming game, maybe not a great game. I don't know, charm can make up for a lot of shortcomings for me. No, yeah, I'm, I'm sure the original is awesome. I've just played the Wii version that sucks. Jesus Christ. Okay, I actually did damage. How, though? What about that time? Man, I've been making this way harder than it needs to be. All right. Let me just get up to him. Yeah, I gotta hit the flashing spot. It wasn't clear the first couple times, though, because I went right up to him. And it wasn't really doing anything. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get too many hits in. Got to be more patient. See, like, I should not have gone for that. Tried playing Black recently. That's the FPS game. That one looks... I will say, that, look, that one looks generic to me. It's hard for me to get thrilled about that. I guess I'm a little biased because FPS games in general don't do much for me. 
I could have survived that. I almost had my heal back up. Okay, now that I know what I'm doing, it should go a lot faster. Okay, let's just kick some ass. Armed and dangerous. Looks like a hidden gem. Is that another FPS game? Look, I'm doing way better now. All it took was knowing what the hell the game wanted me to do. Dude, if this is it, there's gotta be another phase at least. I'm gonna be really disappointed if this is it. Darksiders? Never played Darksiders. It's a game I've... I've seen in stores everywhere all the time, but I've never even like bothered to check it out or watch gameplay or anything. Extremely underrated game you played on PS2 called Second Sight. But a guy who has telekinesis, telepathy, and all that fun jazz. I think I've heard of that. See, that sounds interesting to me. With the jank Jesus, it would be fitting for me to play what armed and dangerous. Come on, just let me get the last hit on him. Yes, let me lose all my health here in one go. Spinning in his grave. Alright, let's get phase two. Super Meat Boy pissed you off. Oh, I'm sure that would piss me off, too. Just seeing gameplay of it. I can almost guarantee. Okay, now what the hell is going on here? Okay, we got low gravity again. Kind of some cool level design. Fucking super me, boy. I'm not entirely sure why this basic platforming is necessary, but all right. Bloody trap land is too much for you. The game got you salty. No, I, yeah, I'm not a fan of excessive difficulty either. Uh huh. Okay, what do I do now? What's the point of these rail grind sections? I still just gotta get up to them. It's the same thing. the same thing just again friends getting really good at it you just rage I don't feel like I play for very long which might make it a difficult game to stream because typically if you're gonna play something you know somebody doesn't want to come in you play me boy for like half an hour an hour and switch to something else Yeah, not exactly the craziest boss. Pretty basic, really.
Okay, let's heal a little bit. Thinking at some point doing a stream where you play every Genesis game ever? Like, just variety style? Or, like, try to get through them all? Didn't expect anyone to get this far. And you just phone it in. I mean, I know as a kid, uh, my brother and I played this. I don't think either of us got this far. I don't think we, we uh, you know, kept at it for that long. You're not Sharpie. Just try him out. I mean, would you do one stream for, like, the entire library? I feel like even then it would be hard to play more than, like, a couple minutes. It'd have to be a long stream, too. Spy versus Spy hits different, too. Dude, I have that one. I've been meaning to play it, actually. Because that was one I really enjoyed as a kid. Like, I know that game did, was not very well received. I don't think anybody really remembers it that much. But, uh... My friends and I really enjoyed it. Ninja! That was like one of the party games that we knew we could put on and have a good time with. Okay, he's almost dead. Do you think there's gonna be a phase three? I feel like there might. But at the same time, would they bother? Okay, I really just need to hit him the one last time. It's a memory trip. Uh, I've definitely been meaning to. It's been on my list for a while now. Was that it? Two phases, huh? Alright. I think that's the game. That's I Ninja. Ninja! It is done, my master. I have proven myself. Where is the stone of life? For those that uh, just came in tonight, haven't seen any of this before. Ninja's voiced by Billy West of Futurama fame, among other things. Did we really do it? I think we did. After ten hours. Definitely a longer game than I would have expected. Yeah, real gross. All the snot. There it is. My key to immortality. No one deserves this more than me. Ah, and you showed such potential. Man, there wasn't a fart noise for the explosion. Yeah, Four out of ten. Speak louder. As you once told me, Master. Yeah, Thriner. That Mario. was me with Gex. Gex enter the gecko. That boss took me fucking forever, but when I actually finished it, so satisfying. With time. You will learn to That's the most recent example. Of that. There's been multiple, though. Patience is a virtue. Great, more pearls of wisdom. At least if I had taken the stone, I would have had eternal peace and quiet from your philosophical rambling. No, I would have haunted you. Ah. Uh. Yo, what? Did they tease a sequel? Or is that for like the 100% crew where you fight them again? The one, b yes, Neopets. Yeah. Yeah, the end of my first night with Neopets was uh not exactly the greatest. Thank you, launch for the GG. Sequel bait, I know, right? Well, I'm, I'm wondering is it sequel bait? Or is it just teasing if you 100% can you go back? fight him again because I feel like that's more likely teasing a sequel on this is kind of a joke <laughs> as much as I love Argonaut did they really think this was gonna be like a franchise yeah I, I would assume it's teasing 100% I would think um but with that said I do need to use the restroom I do have another game planned so let me go ahead uh, use the restroom real quick, get some water. Since everybody spammed it right at the beginning. Um, we'll go ahead and switch games. Fry is the reason there was no phase three. I don't know, I think two phases was enough there. Yeah, they probably couldn't bring Billy West back. 
I would I would almost guarantee. Anyways, I will be right back. Try to make it quick. And uh, I've got a surprise. Okay, I'm back. Uh, unfortunately, we missed a credit here. I barely just saw it coming back in. Don Bluth worked on this. Of Dragon's Lair fame. I, that blew my mind just now. The same guy that worked on Dragon's Lair had a hand in this. Anyway. Now that he's gone. Will I cut his hair? Uh, you know... I haven't thought about that. I don't think I will. Why would they care? Like I'm doing I'm doing deliveries. It's not gonna matter. Anyway, uh okay. Let me get things switched over. Yeah, Tyler, don't sweat it. I mean if you're a part of a community, I don't think there's any any reason not to bring up that you stream. In fact, I kind of regret not bringing up that I streamed um in Pete's chat for a while. Yeah, apparently he directed this? I'm like, what? Or maybe not director, but he did like storyboards. I should braid it. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Anyway, let me uh, restart the console here. We're gonna play another Xbox game. Boys with braids. This will give you some nostalgia. I'm sure some of you that had an original Xbox. It pops up. There we go. Do I need cornrows? We'll get there. Okay. Do you have to do some finagling to get things going? Good lord. Yeah, that, that would not look right on me, I don't think. Hot tips from chat mom. Some use for your ungodly amount of hair. The thing is, my hair is very thick, too. So doing braids, I'm not sure, would uh, work all that well. Okay. So I got a, got a finagle here. Just because the, for whatever reason, games on this system run at like 480i or 480p most of the time. But I have a special menu on my system. It runs in 1080p. The hair is perfect for braids. It's like, oh my, launch, come on now. Come on now. Okay, as you guys can see, 
Got a fair number of games on here. Uh, but what I have in mind tonight is Pocket Bike Racer. Burger King game. Enjoy. Let me get this switched over. I figured this would be a good game to uh, follow iNinja up with. I was like, I, I couldn't think. If, an, if anybody watches me, they're going to enjoy this. I'm like, I don't know. Will people like this? No, who am I kidding? Why am I questioning it? Who's not going to like Pocket Bike Racer? What year? 2006. Man, this is bringing me back. Okay, info should be updated now. Oh, you know what I should put? Skirt, skirt. <laughs> I know, it's so cursed. Alright. Now, I played this on 360 back in the day, but I don't have my 360 anymore. Uh, so we're gonna, I guess, kind of slum it with uh, the original Xbox version. Yeah, we can enjoy it unironically, or ironically rather, unironically. I will probably like it unironically. Doesn't mean you have to. New profile. Pocket bike hype. Can I fit Kyle TX500 in? Hopefully I can. Your childhood's in the palm of my hand right now. Yeah, no, I actually, I remember enjoying these Burger King games, so I hope my, hope my memories are serving me here. Do people run, oh my god, of course, we gotta ask. The 50,000 plus blocks, feels good. Blast is gonna have to check the leaderboard now. Tournament. We can only do 50 CC at the moment. Ultimate cone, cone trial? Hardcore racing. Let's just start with standard. I love how this simultaneously looks super low budget, but also quality. Okay, we gotta play the Whopper Jr. We have to. Little Dipper. We, we have to play the Whopper. It, there's no question. I'm gonna go with Little Dipper. I'm liking that top speed. Parking lot level. Okay, we'll see how this goes. I haven't played this probably since 2006 or 2007. People run this. My guess is most, if not all, the runners are on 360, though. Send me that speedrun page. Well, I'm gonna have to look at it now. Yo, that power up. The king is flying. Seriously. Okay, so wait, we are gaining power ups here. How to use them is the question. You had this, Bubbly? I feel like most people did, probably, if you had a, a 360 original Xbox. The map does look very busy. And it's dark, too. Makes it even a little harder. Luckily, I'm cruising. It's a classic. I figured this would probably be the best of the three. Well, I Ninja, I Ninja's way more cartoony, way more stylized. This is it's going for a more realistic look. Plus, it's three years after, and it's also a multi-gen release with 360. So this game probably, believe it or not, probably kind of pushes the limits of the original Xbox. As funny as it is to say that. Oh my God! It threw me in reverse controls. This is the sequel, you ninja. Oh, 
Well, we nailed that. This is only 50 CC though. Like, expected to win. Christina in second with eight. Oh, the title's the same? It should have updated. I think if you don't refresh your page, sometimes the title doesn't update right away. Well, this is exactly what I needed. <laughs> Post I Ninja. I'm digging this. Here we go, a much brighter level. Helps the hold accelerate. Oh, there's a boost. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. B is boost, apparently. I figured that was going to be a drift button, but apparently not. It's the boost button instead. Okay, A is drift. We're in dead last. You play an I Ninja sequel? Yeah, I guess we won't know unless I go to 100% it, whether they were teasing 100% or an actual full new game. Uh. The screen just went full white there. Okay. Same energy as M&M's. But now that I'm on real hardware, we don't have to worry about it totally dying. Hey there, Lehman. Nintendo spent trillions to sabotage Pocket Bike Racer because they knew it would overtake Mario Kart. Oh yeah, I'm sure. They were shaking in their boots. Yeah, there's literally, I guess there's flashbangs in this. Okay, we're in second. I managed to bring it back. That boost right at the start really messed me up. Remind you to never mess with the king again. Fair enough, bubbly. Yeah, get some rest for work. Glad you enjoyed your days off. Speaking of water, probably should drink some. I will. This game. This game's way better than it really deserves. Quite enjoying this. Yeah, good night, Bubbly. Sure, I'll talk to you very soon. Yo, Barf, thanks for the lurk. This soundtrack. It's official now, yeah. Now you kind of purposely don't want to behave. I mean, there still are mods. <laughs> now that Bubbly's gone, it's not like Anarchy Reigns. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick look at the speedrun page. I'm like, I'm wondering if anybody runs this on the original Xbox. Actually, Wow. Three of the five runners play OG Xbox. I would not have guessed that. Huh, okay. <laughs> well then, that's kind of cool. The King's Garden. I know, I'm getting hungry just playing this. Isn't that sad? How are those all allowed here? Uh, good question, Blast. I'm not sure. Hey there, Cube. Got done writing a drum cadence. Nice. Yeah, we finished I Ninja. Now we're playing some Pocket Bike Racer. My kart racing will transfer to the job. I mean, I will be driving.
Man, the soundtrack's just going ham. You think of Burger King and you feel less hungry. Rip Burger King. Yeah, I will say, they're, uh... You gotta be in a certain, like, pretty trashy mood to want Burger King. I'll be honest. Oh, the flashbangs. It's actually dis- I don't think it's disgusting. Think of Burger King and want Wendy's. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, Wendy's is like top tier fast food, though. I feel like comparing them is almost a little unfair. I feel like most things pale in comparison to Wendy's. Only thing worse than BK is McDonald's. And I've been going to McDonald's more lately than I used to. I don't know, they're McRib. I, I remember having a middle school teacher. And the McRib had been like re-released for the year. And he's like, McRib, they should just call it the McCrack. And I I have to kind of agree. Like, any time it comes out now, I gotta get it at least a couple times. Um, yeah, McDonald's is super convenient. You can't... You gotta give them credit for the convenience factor. McRib's a seven and a half. More like McVomit. Breaking my heart. I think it's good. I don't care what kind of meat it is. Work with like a million quotes. Yeah, we might run this. I feel like I gotta at least try. Probably not tonight. It kind of depends on how far in we get. But if not tonight, expect runs at some point. Never bothered to try McRib? I'd say at least try it. It's not going to be for everybody, but... If you don't do McDonald's, then you probably won't like it. Easy. I gotta say, the, uh... 50 CC not giving us much of a challenge here. Nobody else is finished yet. We were that far ahead. Under construction. So there's only five. It looks like there's only five races total. Oh, you know what? I will have to check if playing off a hard drive is allowed. Because this is on my hard drive. Um, and I don't, I don't have a copy on me. I may have to get the actual disc. Easy speed run. I don't want to run it though if I get a, a pretty big uh, advantage with hard drive. I'll have to see if they allow. I'd be a little surprised if they did allow it, so we'll probably have to hold off on the run. Probably gotta play off, off a real disc. King's cruising yet again. Easy speed run. Well, I haven't watched the other videos. Who knows? It could actually be pretty optimized for all we know. I'll at least try it though. I mean, like the worst that happens, like I try it and get a spot.
Of course, I'm going to shoot for top three because it's me, but... Too bad you can't play as the fries. Not that we know. <laughs> Never had a McRib either. I really like it. I know I'm not everybody, though. My, uh, I don't exactly have, the, like, the finest palette. Like, admittedly, it's kind of trashy food. But I like it. Really hoping for a bike with onion ring wheels. I will say, BK's onion rings. I really, really liked them as a kid. Even though they're unlike any other onion rings I've ever had. Great drunk food. Dude, the king is kind of destroying. Yo, Ash. Thank you for the host. BK makes good poutine. Well, lucky you in Canada. Oh, shit. Worst thing that can happen is I don't get the top spot in a, a Whopper costume. Yo, King got stuck. <laughs> Let's go. KFC poutine is just depressing. McDonald's as well. Ooh, you almost didn't make that. All well, that cost us some time. You like it, but it is depressing. <laughs> You're like aware it sucks, but you don't care. See, I've, I feel like that's my case with McDonald's. Like, that's how I, that's, that's precisely my thoughts on McDonald's. Like, I know it's not very good. I still like it, though. Most everything at KFC is depressing. Yo, we actually fucked up. We got fourth. Last lap, I just kind of let things slip. That's okay, I got first on all the others. We do need poutine in the States. I don't know why it's... It's been, like, locked out from us. This feels like a Spongebob level. <laughs> it's just me. I can see this being in, like... A Spongebob movie game. And we'll look out of place at all. Maybe they're worried about the name? I mean... Could be worried about the name in Canada. Poutine Gate. Spongebob Burger King Pants. There you go. We need the crossover. Yeah, Rehydrated was quite good. I really enjoyed it. I, had, I hadn't played Battle for Bikini Bond before that. Okay. Rip. Come on. That really messed me up. Some restaurants have it and others you ask and they're just like, they don't know what you're talking about. Why is there poo on the menu? I, I love seeing some of the AI just getting stuck here. It's great. Makes my day. Oh shit. That was sketch. Not a big fan of gravy. I like gravy in small quantities. If you drench stuff in gravy, I'm like, ugh. But if it's used sparingly, typically like it. Gravy's everywhere. Yo, hey there, Barbuso. Oh, 
Oh my god, these bombs. You can drink a grape? Yeah, see, I couldn't do that. Oh yeah, for sure. There's there's different types of gravy that should be distinguished. Hopefully that hits first place. I'm like right behind him. Oh shit. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess that works. This is exactly what I needed. I'm so glad I'm playing this. Like, I Ninja was good. I'm glad I played through it. It's a little longer than I would have liked, but... Evil Disco X, thank you for the follow. Just enjoying some Xbox jank. Okay, we got third. Last race we got fourth, and then all the others we got first, so we should be in first overall still. We should have won that. Oh, anyway, hey there, Cyber. I'm doing really well, thank you for asking. And yeah, we got 40 points total. Finish first. Okay, so now we have a 100cc standard race. Um, it's probably just gonna be the same. Should probably try some of the other ones. Did I play Stick of Truth on stream? I did. Yes. Which was a weird one to play because there's some nudity in, nudity in that. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't prepared for it. There's Hardcore Racing. There's Ultimate Cone Trial. Battle Royale. Let me try the Cone Trial. I'm curious. Just driving around giant burgers in the desert. Yeah. Really the pinnacle. Yeah, hopefully you're well cyber. I play the second one. I haven't yet. I do own it. I got the steel book for fractured but whole. Um, and it included stick of truth, so that's kind of why I got it. But I don't know. After I wasn't super thrilled on the first game. Oh, so we're battling to get the gates. Oh, weird. Okay, this is kind of cool. People are coming in. For, of course. Who can say no to Burger King? Steal up uh, for PC, actually. Didn't like the second one. See, and if you're saying that, doesn't necessarily get me all that excited to play it. Because I wasn't, like, super huge on the first game. It was good, but... I don't know. Especially some of the humor, I wasn't... And I typically like South Park's humor, but... I don't know, for whatever reason wasn't gelling with me. I think it's because it's a longer format. I think if you're watching South Park and it's like, you know, 20 minute episodes, it's very easily digestible. When I'm playing it for like five hours straight, not thrilled. Family Guy video game, I've been meaning to play that. It's on my Xbox. I did install it the other night. I just need five more gates. Get it out of my way. We got it. It's fun. It's actually... De it's it's decent. Did see that Family Guy game on the menu. Yeah, I'll get around to it. Definitely get around to it. I'm not sure I need to do everything here for every... Every speed. In-game nudity for permitted games on Twitch is actually okay as long as you only spend as much time on it as needed to progress the game. Yeah, I was trying to get my ass out of there, so I don't think I can be uh, against TOS on that one. I think I'm safe. Plus, it was so long ago and like barely anybody was watching, so <laughs> I think we're good. Full-blown Simpsons game on 360 PS3. I played that, albeit the PS2 version, but they're similar. In a lot of ways, they play 
kind of the same. I think I think the PS2 Wii version just kind of scaled back. Yeah, I, I, yeah, technically it's the movie game. I'm in second. I only have four gates. I want to play... Yeah, I want to play Back to the Multiverse again, which was the, the 360 PS3 Family Guy game. I kind of want to just play both of them. Okay, where's some more of these gates? Two thousand six, I believe it is. I think Back to the Multiverse came out in like oh eight or oh nine. I wanna say. Sounds right. I'm not super thrilled about these gate missions. Cause it's like, it's just total anarchy. The AI is driving wherever the hell it wants. You're hoping the gates respawn. Could you imagine a world without the Simpsons? I, yeah, I feel like it's been too ingrained in popular culture to even like try and think about the world without it now. All the AI is getting hung up there. I love that the AI is kind of broken in this. We need eight more. Yeah, it's like kind of a fun curiosity, but I don't think I'm going to do this for the whole game. I guess it's like an okay game mode if you're really, really tired of the standard racing. Otherwise, can't really... Chicken. Get out of the way. Can't fully say I'd recommend it. Your friend that bought a 360 at launch only had this in Perfect Dark for a year. Yikes. Finally got WWE and Dead Rising. Well, Dead Rising would have been a great one. It's come free with the food. I, I believe they were $3 a piece. So they weren't free. But they were pretty damn cheap. Okay, two more. We got it. Yo, Quasar. Load up the stream. Saw the guy in the burger. Left. Had to mentally prepare yourself to come back. You were too shook. I don't know. I'm, I'm vibing with this game. This is great. Thoroughly enjoying this. They do have a... They do have a list of games that are banned on Twitch. Um, and Stick of Truth isn't one of them. Katawa Shoju wasn't either, which I was kind of surprised by. Neither is... I don't think Doki Doki Literature is banned either. Like some of those visual novels that are pretty graphic. I would have figured, but... Apparently not. Lust in Darkness. There's a page with the banned games and then also kind of rules about games that maybe aren't on that list that could be bannable. So I'd maybe look on that page and see if it violates anything on there. Final Fantasy 7. I still haven't played a Final Fantasy yet. I've played stuff like this and I haven't played Final Fantasy. Shows you where my priorities are. Right, you probably gotta use the sensor options. That's why you're playing it. Are you are you thinking about playing the the remake afterward? Final Fantasy's overrated. See, I'm not much of an RPG guy, and I'm I'm well aware of that. It's too long, so yeah, that's like a turn off for me already. Doesn't go far enough into the story. But I mean, even as like a curiosity. Really? 
Even as a curiosity, you don't want to try it. I guess if you don't already have a PS4, it's kind of a an expensive endeavor. Wait, Dio might unironically beat Mecha. Hold on. I missed some things. Pornhub speedruns. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a curiosity that costs money. Fair enough. Your summer car, or my summer car rather, has birth in it, really? You get birthed in that game? Final Fantasy Remake was one of the most fulfilling experiences you had on PS4. It's worth it to be split up. But how much of that has to do with the fact that you really enjoy Final Fantasy VII? Do you think somebody that's like not nearly as into the series would still have a good time with it? You get born in the car that you fix up in the intro. Beautiful. You know, you gotta you gotta give them creativity points. What can I say? You think so, yeah? It's the most beginner friendly. Well, maybe once I get my PS5. I am worried about the length though. And it is quite different from my normal uh roster of titles. Admittedly. fleshes out the story and character so much it's worth it. Do you feel like they need to be played in tandem or can you kind of get the gist from the remake? Cared for the characters much more than you ever did on PS1. You spend time with them as opposed to like 30 minutes. You can just play Remake, really, okay. I say that as if it's a bad thing. Well, I'm just saying, certain people are here for, oh my god, come on. See, they're here for this. That's exactly what a lot of people are here for. <laughs> the jank. Okay, last one. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do the cones on every level. All the different speeds. We'll see, maybe. Final Fantasy would take me like 20 straight. Yeah, see, that's just that's a huge commitment and you'd be bored. That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, I was digging Yakuza, but even that, like... It's hard for things to keep my interest that long, and, and especially if I'm boring other people streaming it. You know, I don't want to... I mean, first and foremost, I want to play stuff on stream that I enjoy, but... Just not meshing. It took you 30 hours and you did, like, every side activity. I could do it in, like, four streams. No, Yakuza isn't boring, but... Keep in mind, like, a lot of people don't want to come in on a game that's like basically been like you you're missing so much of the story if you're just hopping in and I could tell like the more streams that I did you know the less people would show up because it's like oh shit well I missed missed part of the story don't want to be here now just it is what it is seven remake and 15 would take me four streams yeah see four streams is very palatable I think Try to give your viewers summaries to catch them up on the story. Well, that's the thing with Yakuza is the story's really not... Like, you can boil it down. I think it, it sucks to simplify it that way. But in terms of, like, an overarching story, it's really not that hard to explain. Do we try Hardcore Race? I kind of want to. 
subservient chicken. I'm gonna play as the chicken, why not? More about the dumb mini games and the side stories. I guess that's part of my problem is like I don't feel like I'm I don't know, I need a certain sense of progression. It's very hard for me to play a game and just do all the random bullshit on stream. Because I feel like I don't have a sense of purpose. Um, and I'll, I'll totally admit, first and foremost, it's a me thing, right? I'm sure most other people don't care, but... Yeah, exactly. Rushing through open world games is not the way to play them. Um, but I've, I've just personally noticed, like, they don't do as well either. Um, like I said, it's not all about... You know, it, like, who knows, it could be an off day or whatever, but... I'm like, if, if, if it's gonna deter people from coming in, that's kind of where I draw the line. Okay, so these these races are like Mario Kart 8 with items turned off. That's what the hardcore races are. Kind of an interesting concept. I do I do kind of enjoy. Because I know in Mario Kart 8, man, I'm one of those people that likes to turn items off after a while. Like, I'll play with items. It's fun, but I don't consider it that competitive. As good as Mario Kart 8 confirmed. It's not what I said. It's not what I said. But sure. I mean, I'm enjoying it, right? That's all that matters. It's definitely not to the same standard of quality, but it's actually way more polished than... Way more polished than you probably expect. Like, for a game that you could buy brand new for three dollars. This is a good game. I can't say it's not. You have to keep your expectations in check. And the gospel of good game. No, I, I like way too many games that have horrible game design. I'm not an authority in the slightest. Gonna buy them all sometime soon. I wish I hadn't gotten rid of them, because they honestly, I think it, it costs more to buy them now than it did to get them new. Hand me that pocket bike coaster. I want to put my drink down to play more Mario Kart. Like, come on. You can't say this isn't fun, though. And I've played the hell out of Mario Kart, so for me, like, these... The fact that I've got new characters and bikes and maps is, like... Makes it a little more exciting for me. You get all four for... Well, there's only three. There's three. If it's 15 bucks for three, that's five dollars a game. They used to be two ninety nine. No, I'm not saying they're even close to the same level. Not even close. Just for me personally, this is more interesting right now. Because I haven't played the living hell out of it. Sneak King stream when? One day. Yo, Barf. Are you just now seeing the uh, Pocket Bike Racer here? It's, uh, it's a game that released for $2.99. Xbox and 360. And I'm just vibing with it. Sneaking for Smash? Oh, the bird. Th okay. I'm talking about the bird specifically. Yeah, it kind of is an abomination, isn't it? I'm fairly certain it was $2.99. I could have sworn. Uh, I don't think they gave them out with Happy Meals. 
Because this is going to sound weird to say, but I would have been young enough for a Happy Meal when these came out. And I seem to remember they, they cost extra. Maybe young enough for a Happy Meal's overdoing it. I was like nine. But... Is this a fast food theme racing game or is it just weird racers? No, this is this is a Burger King tie-in. The subservient chicken website. There's a website for subservient chicken. Speedrun when we're actually considering it. I'm not sure about tonight, but uh I need to check the leaderboard to see if I can play it. The current version I have, because it's it's installed to my hard drive, which might give me an advantage. I might have to go and actually buy the, the physical copies. Again. They had a promotion where the chicken was done your way, so you could watch a cam of the chicken and tell it to do stuff. I think it's supposed... Mecca, I don't know. I have no clue. I can recognize like 400 phrases. What the hell? Oh shit. This level in Tony Hawk would be insane. What that that last level? Yeah, I can actually see it. It, it, yeah, no, I agree, Mecca. I'm not, I'm not a vegan either, but it is kind of weird. Bought Sneak King from a pawn shop. I'm hoping maybe I could just find him for, for cheap. I don't want to pay more than a couple bucks. I guess what I'm really hoping is the speed run is cool with running the game off the hard drive. That way, I wouldn't even have to bother. Gotta catch them all. I could probably find them at one of one of my local game stores. Maybe I'll, I'll probably do a big trade here soon because I do want to get some. Uh, want to get a couple PS2 systems and a PS1. I can almost guarantee it's not backwards compatible on the Xbox One. I don't think they'd waste their time. Yeah, a couple PS2s. I want to get a fat PS2 so I can install a hard drive and then get a uh, a slim model with the fast disk speed for PS1 speedruns. Get them all for under eight bucks. Well, there we go. Don't like it. Stick to weird mascots in the kernel. Yeah, edgy content for edgy consumers. I can see that. Why don't you use fat for PS1? Because it doesn't have the faster disc speeds. PS2 Slim emulates. Yeah, but the speedrunners, like in the, the communities that I'm a part of, the speedrunning communities I'm a part of, a Slim PS2 is almost always used because it's faster. If the game uses RTA, Slim PS2 is the way to go for PS1 games. You'd like one, but only for one game. Dude, the PS2 has like the largest console library of any system out there. There's plenty to play on it. You could find more than one game to play. The silver, yeah, the silver slim looks really nice. You have a GameCube already? There's a ton of PS2 exclusives. Boatloads. Way more than GameCube or Xbox. SOCOM 3. I haven't played any of SOCOMs. 7000X perfect PS2s in miniature. Cheers to the original hardware design. Same chips as the fat model, but on a radically consolidated mainboard.
That's the thing. I, I think the PS1 emulation is good enough that speedrunners are, are cool with it. Does this game have power-ups or is it straight-up racing? Well, this is like the... I forget exactly what it's called, Barf, but it's like the hardcore mode. Um, so this version doesn't have power-ups. In the regular standard races, there are power-ups. But for what we're doing right now... No power-ups. I'll get back to, uh, once we can do, a uh, 100cc. I'll do the standard race. Five bucks for all three? Yeah, if, if somebody doesn't buy that, I'm going to. No, in, in most, in all likelihood, I'm probably just gonna... I've been meaning to go to my local game store again anyway. I guess I'd rather give them the money than some random person on eBay. Even if I'm paying a little more. This has been a while. They're literally worthless. That's the thing, I feel like my local store might give me like a really damn good deal on them. 132 sold. Store shut down again? Oh, and that sucks. Oh wait, three sealed for five? It'll cost them five to ship. They're all brand new. I mean, they're fun. Like, I would argue, Big Bumpin' and Pocket Bike, from what I remember. Like, this one is as fun as I remember. I remember Big Bumpin' being alright as well. Sneak King, I'm not sure about. Lockdown number two starting tomorrow. That's rough. Do you pay for a protection plan? No. Don't bother. Sneaking solid, really. Like, not even just as a meme. Like, it's actually a fun game. Uh-huh. Okay. We did a ultimate wheelie. Basically Metal Gear. Sneak King Solid. To quote eBay your orders in. We'll get the speed run for Pocket Bike Racer going too. Gotta make it happen. Use the American Dad skip. Are we actually gonna get second here? Is Whopper Jr. gonna beat us? We can't let that happen. We're in fourth? Wait, what the fuck happened? I don't know how I lost placement there. Yeah, I'm literally a chicken. Well, we may not get first on this one. We got third, all right. As long as we're in the lead, we don't need a perfect score. 36, okay, we're still quite far ahead. Last map. Some slapping beats. It's just fun. It's silly. It costs next to nothing. Like, it's it's cheaper than most iPhone apps. Like, come on. I don't see how you could hate on this. <laughs> Good old Katawa. I will get back to that. I think I'll get back to it eventually. It just takes a toll on my voice. Just reading dialogue for five hours straight. At least if I'm like playing a game. I don't have to be talking the entire time. You know, there is breathing room. Yeah, I am a little curious to see why 
three of the five runners for this use original Xbox and not 360. Yeah, even if off stream. I don't know, it, it did pretty well the first night. So I'm not sure. Again, not that that's all I'm worried about, but. Because there's actually a, a request from one of my friends. And he was there for the whole damn thing. So even if it's just for him, I might stream it. Because he really wanted me to play it. Uh, Katawa showed you. I know. the whole, To me, honestly, Jay, like, it, it reminds me of Spongebob. Sad you missed it. Okay, I will... I'll probably do another night of it, if I can. Do many games not allow hard drive modded Xbox? Well, if you're running it off the hard drive, you immediately get a advantage. So I would assume... Super sponge win. Uh, I'm dreading it. I'm dreading it. One day. I gotta be I gotta be in the mood for it. I'm gonna have to have a really, really good day. That I just don't care if I ruin. <laughs> so we'll see. It's a very specific specific uh set of conditions. I didn't even see how long the speedrun was for this. I'm like gonna agree to it and it's gonna be like, you have to finish every, every event. Well, that was easy. <laughs> no competition. It's a 40 minute run. Okay, that's that's reasonable. What are the rules for it? Includes 50, 100, 150. Okay, so it's literally just standard races from 50 to 150. Okay, that, that makes sense. Trying to get the longest manual in Tony Hawk 4 on college. That sounds difficult. And I don't it doesn't say anything about hard drives. I'm probably going to have to ask on the form for it, is my guess. Although the one form post is a total meme. Just says, welcome to Burger King, what would you like to order? Uh, can I get a boneless Whopper with a two liter Coke? <laughs> I don't know if they're really going to discern if I play it off a hard drive. I'm not sure they're going to care. <laughs> Super Lime, thank you for the follow. I have a feeling they're not going to care. I could run it off a potato and they, they wouldn't care. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting. Sound like a good group. Okay, so now we're at 100 CC. Board game is serious business. This is noticeably faster. Which it very well should be. Yeah, I'll run this. In fact, depending on how long it takes us. I don't know, I could do it. I could do it tonight. <laughs> The only thing I worry about is if I do run it with a hard drive and they they notice or, you know, it might not be valid, but I mean, I mean, I guess the worst thing that happens is it gets invalidated, right? I just do it again another time. Musai with the raid. A bit of a late night Musai stream tonight. Hopefully you had a good stream, Musai. Hey there, Bunny Foo Foo. Yes, indeed, a Moose raid. Can we get a shout out for Musaya? One of my mods. I 
Thank you, Blast. Playing some more Genshin Impact, nice. I'm lapping them. Easy. Do I have to start from... For the speedrun, I wonder if I have to start from a new save file. I assume not. I am doing great tonight. I'm just relaxing to this phenomenal meme of a game. Timer starts when you begin 150. Fin cross the finish line in the last race in 150. Must get first place. They don't say overall or... Or in e every race. I would assume just overall. Come on, mods. Gotta make your speedrun rules crystal clear. Disappointed. Would assume every race. It's possible. But I've played other racing games where it's not that. That's not the case. I guess it would be pretty easy to secure first, though, especially with power-ups. Yeah, Bunny, I, I feel very blessed that so many people would watch me play my random, random bullshit. Oh, shit. You didn't see that. <laughs> no, but seriously, like... I know what I do is pretty niche, so... Just to have people here at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm considering not even beating this right now and just going for the run. It's 11.15. I'm doing great, Musai, I think you're asking. What game do I want remastered? Ooh. I mean, the obvious one is New Vegas. That game, I mean, I can play it as is, but if I could get it even just remade in the 4 engine, I'd be quite happy. Oh, come on. I also don't even know how often I can boost either. I'll probably figure that out if I decide to do a run. Oh, I see it. Okay, it just uses part of the meter. May hate Valve's lack of communication. Your decisions have been to everybody's benefit. I mean, it, it did take him long enough to release Alex, though. It's your Half-Life 2. And I'm not even, like, a huge Half-Life fan, but I'm like, okay, come on. Took you guys a little while. I'm trying to think what other games I'd want remastered. Moth I'd say Mafia 2. Low blow, I know, it's, it's an obvious one. I'd say Mafia 2, but done right. Like, actually, I'd almost argue, like, remade. Because the, the current re-release is literally just, like... I feel like it's just the repackaged version of the original. At least the original game, the original Mafia, got, like, a full-on remake. Acceptable low blow, but still one regardless. That's the thing, though. Like, if you still like the original Xbox feel, that graphical style, it's like you don't have to play the, the remaster, the remake. Like, as long as the original's still there, they're not, like, rewriting history. I don't see anything wrong with a remake.
Banjo and the Spyro engine? That would be interesting. What do I want ported a la Mario 3D All-Stars? Uh, not much because it feels super cheap and lazy. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm going to be one of those people crazy enough to like, if I really want to play the game, I'll just buy the consoles on. Sonic. Like sometimes here I'm power sliding and other times I'm not. Sonic Air Ride, but remade to be playable by humans. <laughs> what, uh, not, not Air Ride, isn't it, f is it Free Ride? Sonic Riders. I even played it, I already forgot the name. I get the Bioshock collection. Uh, I had the games on Steam. So I technically got it for free. It's funny, I went and played Bioshock 2 and I just played the original version. Because I've heard the the remasters or whatever you want to call them aren't even that, that well done. Okay, came in a little hot on that one. Kirby Collection. Didn't they do that on the Wii? The remasters are broke. Yeah, I just played the original ones. Seem to work. Oh yeah, the pricing for sure. I mean, there's there's value in that, but yeah, if it's three old games. It's not like you're getting fully remade games or brand new titles. Like sixty for a brand new game, I get because a lot of time and effort went into it. It's like how much effort did Nintendo actually put into the the 3D All Stars package? I don't think they put a whole lot. Right, that is the old one. I was just double checking. I I wasn't misremembering. PC games broken, impossible. I know, shocker. I'm a little confused why. Like sometimes I'm drifting and other times I'm not. That's, that's also true. Yeah, the ones they just ported from Wii U. Fair enough. Nintendo gonna Nintendo, true. Tropical Freeze port pisses you off. Is this the last OG Xbox game they ever released? It's probably... It's probably one of them, I would think. I'm very tempted to just nope out of this and just do the speed run. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, the fact that they're charging brand new prices for Wii U titles, yeah, it rubs me the wrong way. Like, the reason I could sort of justify Mario Kart 8 is because I knew I was going to play it a lot. And the battle mode was actually fixed. Madden NFL 09, of course. A sports title coming out, like, way after the console's dead. I will say, Microsoft really just dropped the original Xbox once the 360 came out. They really did nothing with it. Which I guess makes sense, but... Oops, going the wrong way. Damn it. Yeah, and Super Mario Party is such a letdown. I have a friend that got it. And it's like, it was kind of fun to play, but I would not have paid money for it. Just pales in comparison to the older games.
King is on the last lap. I probably will get through this just so I can start. I, I guess I should play through all of them once before I try and run it. Yeah, Super Mario Party had like nothing to do. True. I'm gonna try and boost past here. Oh, that almost worked. 360 is one of the best consoles ever. Of course, they dropped the original Xbox. But the original Xbox was good in its own right. I mean, it's the only real home console that can run Half Life 2. So it's the most powerful console of the generation. Um, and the GameCube and the... Well, I guess the GameCube not so much, but the PS2 got plenty of support afterward. Super close on your average. I'm glad you're getting there. Definitely deserve it. There's a couple people in my streams lately that have been saying they're, they're getting quite close. Um, and it makes me very happy to hear that. I don't know why the king just went backwards. 2.91, man. Yeah, you're so close. Oh, you know what it is? I think I need to be holding hard left to right before I press A. 360 library was great. 100% failure rate. Well, for the original model, yes. No, the original Xbox ran Half-Life 2. Oh, Dreamcast ran it. Okay, yeah. I got gotcha. you. The PS2 had Half-Life 1. Um... But yeah, no, Xbox had Half-Life 2, which it's amazing that it even runs. Why are you so willing to forgive the 360 Red Ring fiasco? I guess I didn't get too burnt on it. Because every time mine Red Ringed, I sent it in and got it back. Like, well, I got a new one. They pretty much just shipped me a new console every time. It's kind of hard for me to be too mad. And the only reason I got the slim is, I, I think my fat one was still working. But, uh, it's because I was running out of hard drive space. And a lot of people, yeah, exactly. A lot of people didn't even get burnt on it because they, they were kind of late adopters to the Xbox. So they got theirs once the slim had already come out. I'm not looking past it. I'm acknowledging it was a thing. They knew they fucked up. <laughs> they were well aware. Um, but just, personally, I got treated pretty well. Like, yeah, it was a pain to have to send the console in, but... When you get a brand new one. Yeah, it was resolved well. Unlike Joy-Con Drift. I don't know. They're pretty similar issues. The fact that... I mean, Joy-Con Drift 2 happens... I don't know. Is it going to happen to all Joy-Con eventually? Or at least the ones that were made early on. Because I think it's actually a flaw in the design. So I guess it kind of is comparable to... Uh, the 360 Red Ring situation. But I never use my Joy-Con, so... Uh, don't gotta worry about that. I literally only play my, my Switch in hand... Or not handheld. In the dock. Yeah, we're gonna run this. I don't even care. I'll let them know that I use a hard drive on this. Um, and if it gets... If it doesn't get verified, because I technically have better load times than whatever. It's good practice either way.
Well, that's the thing. I've heard weird, like, I've heard mixed things on the Joy-Con issue. Some people are just sending them in and it's, it's pretty painless, but others are having trouble. Manufacturing on new Nintendo hardware is straight garbage. <laughs> Made of cardboard. Yeah. Lavo. Okay. We'll play through 150 just so I have a sense for what to expect, and then I'll I'll do do a timed set. Are there good third party more joyful cons? There are third party options, but I'm not sure as to the quality of them. Again, I'm not really a Joy-Con user, so I can't personally comment. Yeah, the fact that Labo's real. The fact that Mario Kart Home Circuit's real, too. That one I'd kind of like to try out, but 100 bucks is steep. What if the PS3 had the same issues? You don't think it would be glossed over? Well, I mean, the, the 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 early PS3 models cost way more. So there is that consideration. Not next gen at all. I mean, you're not you're not wrong. I'm just not like gonna hold a long standing grudge about it. The slim, though. That's a good system. Dude, I'm not even gonna get first here. I got third. See, this is, this is why I gotta try it out first before I try and run it. I don't think they're gonna require first on every single race. I think as long as you get first overall. Never owned a slim of anything. I had a slim PS2 at one point that I kind of wish I kept. I'm not sure it would have had the fast disk speed, so. Are there any Wendy's games? Not that I'm aware of. There's the infamous KFC visual novel. I don't think Wendy has any games. Had the silver slim and sold it. Regret it? Yeah, it's a beautiful looking system, too. They're making a Lifetime movie with Mario Lopez playing Colonel Sanders. What the actual hell? What? I definitely did not know that was a thing. Man, those that's going to be a tough spot. Those hitboxes are jank. Wait, there's a Wendy's D&D? &D? Actually? Win D and D's seriously? Not sure who the KFC market's supposed to be anymore. Yeah, good point. Who the hell knows? Oh. Uh. Like, I don't want to cut that corner because it throws me off every time. But not cutting it is also not great. Oh, come on now.
Oh shit. Damn it. It's okay, that's why that's why this is practice. That's why we don't have the timer going just yet. KFC also sponsored a Game Grumps episode. Yeah, the dating sim is a uh, classic. Dude, we're gonna get such a bad placement here. Of course. It's not a place to boost. Yeah, kind of fucked myself. Yeah. <laughs> What's the plot to the dating sim? I believe you go to school for cooking. It's cooking school. This is going off memories of when I played it, like right when it came out. We go to cooking school. Colonel Sanders is one of the other students, I believe. Close to dethroning the king. It's, man, this 150cc is no joke. Can I restart the race or am I... Probably not. Probably locked in. Well, if I can't play 150, it's gonna mess me on the speed run. Probably just need to let off the gas more. Oh shit. Gotta get good, yeah. Working on it. Get fucked. Told some of your other streamers you watch. You're close to an affiliate. And chat yelled at you. Well, how big are these streamers? That's my question. Because I feel like bigger streamers, for whatever reason, bigger streamers out of the out of all of them tend to not like it as much. Which is weird to me. It's like, bro, come on supposed to be a community 70 viewers big yeah like why do they care There's plenty of people watching watching that person it's not like you're trying to steal people's eyeballs just want a little bit of a bump in terms of followers I don't I don't see that as that big of an issue but They do get it a lot more, that's fair. I mean, I think if you're a part of that community though, and you're courteous about it, you're not like... I guess it kind of depends on how you asked it, Tyler there. I think especially if streaming naturally comes up. You know, if people talk about other people start talking about their own streams I think just being courteous about it not being rude or annoying but I kind of doubt you were being rude or annoying because I thought the way you did it in here was fine Man, 150 is no joke. We got flash banged, of course. Yeah, maybe if you do in the Discord, that's probably a little bit more acceptable. Socially acceptable. I don't know. I'm not going to grill anybody for... for talking about their stream in my, in my stream. I think that's ridiculous. I am in fourth place. 150 just kicked it up like 10 notches. Ask for tips, that's it. 
Yeah, see, I don't... I don't see the issue there. <laughs> Mecha shouting himself out. <laughs> of course. It's a greasy move. Greasy, pun intended. I tried. Can't say I didn't try. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, it depends on a multitude of things. I think, I think if somebody's a big part of that person's community, I think you get a little more, um, a little more leeway. Oh shit, we're off the track. Like, if you really aren't that invested in the person's community and you just come in and you're like, Yo, can I get some follows? That's where I draw the line. If, if somebody's active, like, I'm not gonna say no to that. As long as you're, like, not posting in my stream, like, yo, I'm live right now. Come watch me. <laughs> I think that's kind of, that's taking it way too far, but personally. Follow them longer than me. Well, again, it also kind of depends how active you were. But maybe they've they've probably dealt with stuff like that in the past, so I can kind of see being... Yeah, you let this person say this. Yeah. No, people... Yeah, people... People can be... Be that way, but... Luckily, I haven't really had to deal with that. Yeah, no, I know. I think that's a little scummy. Like, I think if you're going live around the same time as me, like, I don't care if you post in the Discord. You know, people ultimately will make their own decisions about who they want to watch. I'm not going to stop anybody from tuning off of me. But, yeah, if you come into somebody's Twitch and you're like, yo, I'm live right now, could I get some viewers? Do it a little more gracefully than that. We got six. Who's the chat, not so much the streamer. Yeah, I think there's there's kind of a perception, especially among Twitch viewers, that that's like not acceptable, but it's like, well, you're not the one to say. It's really the streamers say. If it bothers them, then whatever. Yeah, have tact. It's a good way. Barf's putting it well. I usually don't start though. Like I don't think anybody should start with, hey, I need some followers. Just talk about streaming and if the conversation goes there, then then it does. Get them out of my way. Give a business card the morning after. I would like to be able to get first in this without the speedrun timer going. So, I'm probably going to have to redo this set of races again. 
directs him to me. Went for the went for the bit of a dangerous strat there. Like some t yeah, see, I don't see a problem in that. You're asking for advice. You're not asking people to go to go give you a follow. So I just I I'd, I'd ignore the viewers. In that case, sounds like they were being kind of douchey. <laughs> From my outsider's perspective here. I don't know how the hell. I feel like I'm doing all right here, other than that fall. I feel like I'm doing okay. And yet I'm struggling to stay up. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like that was the case. Sounds like you asked a simple, innocuous question and chat kind of retaliated on you. This burger is so flexible. I'm wondering if maybe because the top speed's so high, it's actually... It's actually not a good thing. Finish fourth. Yeah, that three of your average is one of the harder things to pull off. Let me try this again with the other, maybe a different bike. Although I feel like you'd want top speed. I feel like I might, excuse me, I might have to look into the speed run. Should we take a look at one maybe? I'm almost wondering if that's the way to go here. I could try again, but... That's gonna be super fast. That's gonna be impossibly fast. The handling's not very good. I feel like high acceleration's important as well. Maybe the puddle jumper? Let me try this again. I wanna at least get first on this. Maybe I'll save the speed run for a different night. Cause it is already almost midnight. Um, and I haven't been able to get first in this 150, so uh gonna make things difficult. Holy shit, this thing. Holy fuck. This thing's crazy. The handling is garbage, though. It's atrocious. But I am in the lead. It just has to function. <laughs> no worries. The affiliate help discord. I didn't even know that existed. This is simultaneously a great bike, but also insane. It'll suck in the burb. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. I might have to watch the world record run. See what they use. Yeah, because here it's really just a figure. Not a figure eight even, just a rectangle. So, like, yeah, that's simple enough, but once you throw in... We'll see. If I could just get first, I'd feel better. Acceleration is king. Yeah, it's gonna suck here.
Or maybe not. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, this is not good. No handling whatsoever. So, a uh, speed run. If I can't beat 150, then I... I can't necessarily do the speed run. Well, this is painful. I don't even think I'm gonna continue with it. This bike's too much. Let's look at the speed run. Let's see what they use. Maybe they switch bikes for the different classes. I just pull up the run. Let's see what they use. That'll give us our answers. Because I might as well, even if I don't do the speed run of it tonight, I might as well use the bikes that make the most sense. Okay. Let me hide this. Let's take a look. Create character, like custom character. What am I moving? I'm dragging these layers around. Oh shit. There we go. Getting good now. Pop some corn just for this. It does look like a custom character, doesn't it? But what it doesn't really the character doesn't matter, it's the bike. And they start the timer. There's tech. They start the timer at a weird spot. I guess you start it as the race starts. But well, you can skip laps. Wait, what? Yo, no way you can. Seriously? There's actual... Yeah, you can cheese... Oh my god. Good game, no flaws. <laughs> yeah, you, you just... Drive part of the track. It's that jank. So I gotta... I gotta kinda watch for where they're... See, he hit there. This is the record, by the way. Running off disc at the moment. World record has faster load times due to running from drive. You guys can't see it, but it says... Faster load times due to running from drive. So you can run from a hard drive. It's allowed. This almost seems too tech. No, it's not. It's so simple. It's so simple. Just watch it again to get a sense of where they're doing it. <laughs> Username, bruh. <laughs> Remind you what, what I said a little while from now? We'll see. So I go there. I just gotta remember where they turn around. It's gonna take some practice. And not every map might have this. So they just do that over and over again for that one. Let me see the next, the next map. I wonder if last lap you have to no, you don't. It's the same thing. <laughs> this is what's cheesed. Let's see about this one. This one I'm kind of worried about. Truly the fastest food in the West. This one looks like they're just going to run the whole thing. 
<laughs> Yo, what the hell? Let's go back there for a second. Looks like Eclipse. It's that busted. Do you see that? Okay. It's just gonna be about remembering the pathing here. I can't tell what bike he's using, so there's that. Yo. <laughs> you can skip that, okay. Suburb skip. I'm loving this. Just watch another lap just to double check I know what I'm doing. Fastest to give me diabetes. What I might do is start doing some of these skips and routes in our 150 practice. Or just get through it. And I might not do the speed run tonight. We'll see how I feel once I get through 150. Okay, I think I get the idea on that one. So that's two maps we've figured out. We got a mod, or not a mod, a bot. Thank you, Dio. This might be another one you just race all the way through. I'm also curious how they do menuing. Yo. That skipped. They upgraded again. They go off the ramp, they boost off the ramp there to spawn further on the course. I can't believe there's actual tech in this. I never would have guessed. I would have figured nobody would have bothered. <laughs> Big follows. I think they just do the rest of it legit. So there's one skip there. Yeah, that's the only skip. Okay. That's three of five maps figured out. This one I'm also worried about. The routing on this one's going to be important. So far, normal. Kind of bumped there. Yeah, see, there's plenty of room for, for improvement on... Even on this. I think with a little bit of work I could I could get this. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary, just kinda like trying to turn tight. Do it for the game bros OGs. Who would have thought I would be speed running? I don't think anybody predicted that. Okay, so there's a ramp there you can jump off of. Basically muscle memory, yeah. Pretty much. You can jump that. I'm gonna try and soak as much of this in as I can. I can't guarantee I'll have all of it, but... I think that's the whole thing. I'm definitely not going to run a timer yet. I'm going to try some of these things myself. Okay. I think that was it for that one. This is an intricate run. <laughs> Who would have thought freaking pocket bike racer would be an intricate run? Here, you know what? I should probably switch over to this just to not... Uh... Make it seem like I'm playing. Here we go. That's better. We are watching somebody else's run. I want to pass this off as my own. Okay, so he takes a hard left through the pipe there. 
Yeah, I don't think it's all gonna sink in the first try, but... I mean, even if I miss some of the skips, I might be able to do alright just with some more optimized... Because he's bumping quite a bit. I mean, I, I doubt I'm gonna do a whole lot better on my first couple attempts, but... This took him 15 attempts. So... I feel like within that number, we could we could probably do all right. Okay, so I think we basically got everything there. There's the last track, which is probably pretty straightforward. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do a lot of this stuff on 150. Hopefully they're consistent, yeah. Okay, did not know about that little section of the map. Am I planning on becoming the king of this? I'll try. I can't guarantee anything. It's a pretty jank game. But I think I could do alright. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Just the one... the one shortcut looks like. Well, there's a, there was a shortcut and kind of a skip. From, from pick up vids to speed run. Yeah, exactly. Slap two. I'm gonna go back just a little bit. Yeah, it's just the one shortcut. Okay. Well, that's basically it. Um, I think... This might be a little off-center. Actually, it looks alright. You don't choose jank royalty. Jank royalty chooses you. Exactly. Okay, let me switch back here. I think I accidentally kind of moved this around. I did. All right, that should be good. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try and adopt some of what what was going on there. We got fourth overall. Oh, I don't know what bike he used for 150. Let me just see, quickly. I can't tell what bike this is. I might not have it. Never found out the bike. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for it right now. Just figure it's probably something quick. Probably don't need to show it on stream. Oh, you know what? You might have to do everything in the game. You may have to unlock everything before you get all the bikes. That might be our problem. I use the white lightning. Mind scan dipping. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for hanging out as always. Yeah, white lightning is what they use and it's locked. I think I gotta do a bunch of the other stuff first. Unfortunately. It's because the top speed's insane, that's why. Okay. Interesting. That's probably why they're crashing so much, too. Just because it's going to be really hard to control. Well, guys, I don't think we can do the speedrun until I do a bunch of this other stuff. So, cheats... I don't think there's going to be cheats in this, and even if there are, do you really think they're going to be, um, you know, recorded? Like, is anybody going to bother to write them down? Put them online. Let's see if I can get this, um, this kind of skip here. See if this actually works. It totally does. White lightning, white castle. Oh, come on.
I mean, our lap counter's going up, so it's working. Wish I could drift more consistently. Shit, we still got we still got second. Oh wait, we have one more lap. Get out of my way, bruh. Okay, work. I can't believe this has tech. Yeah, I'm shocked. Actually shocked. I don't know if somebody wants to look if there's cheats. Because I don't really think I'm, I need to beat everything. Oh, the burger might increase size. Oh, that's a good point. A very good point. Reinhardt, you bastard. Yes, yeah, so you go through the trees there. Okay, that's one way to do things. Gotta be cheats who plays shit all the way through. Who plays this all the way through, more specifically. It's probably a better angle to go off of that, but that's the general idea. I'm just glad loading from the hard drive is allowed. Because it means I don't have to bother with, like, the physical disc. already speedrunning it. We're considering it. I'm using the tech from the speedrun just to get through some of this stuff. I've, I've learned the skips from the record run. that a little wide. Yeah, we're gonna try it. Assuming I could unlock... Well, I might not even need to use the white lightning for all I know. I mean, the top speed is a lot better, but... We'll see. Maybe I unlock White Lightning after doing 150. Maybe I don't have to do every single objective here. Okay, this one has kind of a cool skip as well. Cat's cold, so you put your charger brick on him the perfect little warmer. No one find cheats? I mean, I don't I don't know if anybody looked. Yeah, don't roast the kitty cat. That would not be good. Okay, that almost worked. Yo, if I could land that that'd be faster than the record. If I could land on the track? There's a guy that posted all the shortcuts on Games Radar. That's hilarious. Is the actual username white and nerdy? You're no shape to Google right now. Fair enough.
What Blast says is true. Beautiful. I forge a doctorate in economics for a project of yours. Uh, I don't think I can pull that off. Damn it. Okay, so it's way less reliable to do, do it the way I was doing it. I can see why they try to despawn and respawn. Because it's not a given that you're going to land proper. Depends what kind of project. Yeah, you know what? I, it just dawned on me. Of course they use an original Xbox with the hard drive. Because I, I think 360 would actually be slower because you have to play it from the disc. How about a Masters? The tech, though. I know it's beautiful. Almost hat. What? No. Dude, I gotta figure this tech out. There we go, that's what we want. What? It's supposed to spawn you... <laughs> well... I got the first two laps alright. I don't know why now it's not working. I know, right? Crazy that anybody watches. That's a speedrun pocket bike racer. I'm gonna have to practice this map too, which I can't believe I'm saying. But it's true. I need to get that one skip down. Because I got dead last. Uh, how many points am I gonna end up with? Let's see overall ranking where I am. Need a late night burger run. I'm only four points behind. So as long as I get the next two first place, I should be fine. This is content. Okay, this one's one of the trickier ones too. I should be boosting more as well. Where I can. Yo, King. Don't be doing that. Oh, I need to hit that ramp. Shit. There we go, that's what's supposed to happen. Oh, and I can drop down there too, damn it. It's coming back to me. Okay, hopefully by the time I get through here... Shit. That's right, this is only a two-lapper. Need the practice, yeah I do. Actually gonna have to practice on this one. This is one of the harder tracks though. Oh shit. I actually got stuck. I actually managed to get stuck there. Ok, 
Okay, okay, Skip. I could have been a little better. Yeah, you want to fall down there and immediately turn this way. Oh, shit. No. Okay, at least I'm close-ish to first. Assuming the skips go right, I'll definitely be first. Need to get around you. Oh my god, okay. Fourth place it is, I guess. Still not going to be first overall. Okay. We'll try Fantasy Ranch, though. For some reason, it makes you think of cholesterol passing through the arteries. I could see it. No, I think speedruns add a ton of replay value. Tons. Yo, that flashbang. Oh, god damn. Okay. Not exactly the, the easiest uh, skip there. So they'll probably take another go or two, at least. Get wrecked. I might be able to bring it back. We, we do have... Two more laps. Except I don't think we'll get first overall still. We're in second. Where's first? Just a couple turns ahead of us, it looks like. That should mess him up. It did. We'll get him go. Oh, shoot. Come on. I'll be able to secure first. Okay, so I will be able to get first overall on this. Map layout's 10 out of 10. Agreed. Mess up the king. Okay, we got first. Uh, I need a couple. I need practice on two of the maps. The king's court, or whatever the hell it's called, and then the uh, construction zone one. Uh, once we get those down... Should be ready to go. Unless I decide to get... Try and get the uh, the fastest bike. It may require unlocking everything, though. I might have to do every game mode. Which would definitely be a lot of... A lot of work to put in. Yeah, we got second overall. I'm gonna go one more time. Let's not do the Whopper Jr. Just in case the, the hitbox is bigger. Just do biker. I'm just wondering if light white lightning gets unlocked. If you beat 150 CC. I could see that being the case. Or it might just be once you finish everything. I wonder how far I actually have to go. Because he was going a little further. I just tried to cheese it a little bit by going a little less far. See if it still counts the lap. It didn't. Okay. 
So it needs to be about in here for it to actually count. See, Blast, my only worry is what if it's like you have to have finished every game mode, right? It's like... Oh, shit. I feel like White Lightning might be like the final bike you unlock. I don't know if I got far enough there. Oh, I actually got second. The king still beat me. Well, you have to get first, so I, I botched that still. The 50cc Battle Royale? Oh, so it is the white light. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we'll do that then. Hopefully I get first overall here. And then we'll quickly do that, and then we'll be set. And I'll probably try, like, one run, because it's a 40-minute run. Damn it. There's gonna be like stuff like that in the run, I can almost guarantee. It's not gonna be a perfect first one. Gotta remember to spam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good, good call there. It's kind of tricky sometimes knowing where to spam them. I'll get more comfortable with it all once I've done this a few few times. Yeah, we're cruising. White drift there. I still need to figure out that skip in the next one. Am I Elvis? Sorta. Sure. Wait, in ra yeah, in race achievements, yes. There's in-race achievements, believe it or not. It's wild. Okay, King's Garden. This is the one with the skip that I actually need to figure out still. Oh shit. Come on. Okay, let's see if I can get it here. Uh, it's not exactly what I wanted, but... Actually, that might be faster. We need that white lightning. Well, I just want to get first here. 
just to know I can do it. And also to get some practice. Although it probably would be good to practice with the bike I'm going to be using. Let me just secure first here before we move on to that. I don't know, I'm almost wondering if maybe it would be better to use a bike that's not nearly as fast, but handles better. Because if, if we're using a bike that handles like garbage, it might make things worse, actually. Just a thought. See, I worry about getting stuck there. I'm gonna take the long way around. Yeah, the handling handling's gonna be way different. So close. I'm just thinking if I don't have to respawn, that's even better. Like that would be better than the world record strat. If I could land in a, a way that I don't have to respawn. But pulling it off might be pretty hard. Almost had that. That almost worked. Cause that's this is what he does. But yet for whatever reason it doesn't spawn me there. I am banking on a lot going my way. I don't know how he manages I'm wondering if there's a reset button. There's not. At least as far as I'm aware. Somehow he's managing to spawn later in the track. Whenever I try to do what he's doing. Yeah, imagine getting hyped for stuff like Bob the Builder, American Tile, and Pocket Bike Racer. Yes. Only here. Still got second. Okay, maybe I will. Mm, I'm debating. And we're almost done with with the set. That's why you sub. I gotta keep things interesting. Can't just do the usual. Where's the fun in that? Truly a blessed speedrun page. Hey there, Jeremy. Yeah, it's actually not bad. I'm I'm about to attempt the speedrun for it. Getting some practice in. Still need to unlock one of the bikes. Just want to make sure I can get first on this 150 here. There's actually some tech involved. Oh, I fell off. Yeah, hopefully the jank isn't the only reason. <laughs> but I could see it being a big part. Yeah, skips in tech for a BK game. This is going to be the hardest map, by far. There's a lot of gold there. A lot of it was gimme though. Like it's just stuff other people have no interest in running, so I can't, I can't take full credit there, but... I'm proud of some of them. Not all of them, but some of them. Come for the tech and stay for the wholesome pile. That's the thing, a lot of the runs I do don't have really any tech to speak of. World record this jank. I'm gonna try. But world record all the jank. Well, some of it's not worth putting the time in. What was that spawning? Are you kidding me? Yo, that's messed up. The tech is mind-blowing. 
Uh, I don't know if I'd say mind-blowing, but it, it's more involved than I would have expected for sure. It really is, though. Mind-blowing tech. I guess it's mind-blowing in the sense that you, yes, you wouldn't expect it, so I guess that enough. That alone. Okay, I don't have any boost. We got some Mario Kart 64-like skips in the first lap. We're right behind first. Can I do it? Oh, they got stuck. But the king's coming in clutch. We still got second overall. Damn. For a game like this, mind blowing. Yeah, fair enough. Gotta keep expectations in check. I'm still in first overall. Okay, good. This, this last track we should get first. I'd be a little shocked if we didn't. I didn't get the fast... I, there's, there is a fast start in this as well. I think if I hold accelerate, starting on one. No speed run for hit and run. Uh, that's, that is a very involved speed run game. There's a lot to learn in that one, so that's why I haven't done it. That would be like a full-time job right there, just speedrunning that game. In fact, there are people on Twitch that that's all they do. Yeah, the Animaniacs bowling. A classic. A true classic. Dude, the guy came into the Twitch stream and was like, your RNG was actually really good. This is like a hard time to beat. I just couldn't help but laugh. It sounded like he had tried to beat it and he couldn't. I'm like, oh man. Yeah. Dude tried, but it's literally all up to RNG. So it's like, what can you really do? games on there are insane. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all stuff that I just interests me personally. Stuff that I just don't think anybody else would bother with. Better than Reddit Gone Wild. Dude, f how is first so far ahead? The king is destroying. Let's throw that up. Hopefully he hits. It's almost as crazy as Pete's runs. Yeah, Pete's got a weird eclectic mix, too. I definitely think he has more runs to be proud of. Although he's been doing it for longer, so... Like, I'm not proud of all of my runs. <laughs> not even close. But there's, like, a handful that I'm, like, legitimately excited about. Yo, King got stuck. Take that first. Thank you very much. If I don't keep bumping. Case in point, Borger Racer. Are you kidding me? The king actually got me back. The bastard! Are you kidding? Can you not keep inverting my controls, please? Unbelievable. I hope that didn't lose me first right there. I'm gonna be a little salty. Oh my god, we barely got first. We got the puddle jumper. So it said battle royale on 50, correct? Is how we get the white lightning. Okay, so we'll do this one. I don't know what this is gonna play like at all. I don't know what the hell you do in a battle royale here. Uh huh. 
Oh, you just hit other racers. Okay. You know, you don't have to steal every power-up. But they're getting everything. First place is about to be rough, though. Looks like nobody's hit anyone. It's so hard to get some damn power-ups here. There you go, there's a hit. This might take us a little while. Not exactly a quick thing to do. I accidentally, yeah, I, I loop the drive through. No, it's actually a good place to farm. That should hit. Yeah, that counts. You could just farm the two here. Looping the drive through might be the strat because they give you a ton of power up. Yeah, no, this is the this is the strat. The accident paid off. Yeah, because I can just fire them off and they'll automatically hit. Yo, don't steal my idea, the bastard. The king's a dirty player. He honestly is, though. Just one more. Here, wait, I could just stay there. Done. <laughs> Easy. Second place got two hits total. That's a pro level strat right there. Well, if I ever have to speed run the Battle Royale, got the first level figured out. Thank you, Jeremy, for the GG. Yeah, the king is a sweaty gamer. So it's it's just smart to farm, like find a place with the white power-ups and farm those. It's pretty much the strat for this. See if we can find some white power up somewhere. I haven't seen any so far. I want to say, yeah, in here has some. We'll just park on it. I think they spawn in if you park on it. It should. Is it not going to spawn any now? Uh, I thought I had something figured out. Dude, I guess not. Oh, shit. This game, I know. This game. The thing is, I don't want to do a run without the white lightning, because I feel like I'll be at a disadvantage. Um, actually, if somebody would be willing... Could you take a look at the other runs and see if they use the same bike? I'm barely getting any power-ups. This is not good. Okay, we got a firework. Now we just gotta find somebody. That should've hit, it missed. See, I spend the time to get these power-ups just for it to miss. So I was kind of hoping to just farm the white one because it's a seeking. 
kind of missile. I've yet to see power up spawn here. Is this really the only way to get the, the white lightning? Is it, like, I think I like to, I like to think, what speedrun am I wanting to do? Just the, uh, what's the category for this? I forget what they call it. Just the standard race mode for all three, all three speeds. I need to hydrate before the run. I'm gonna actually count. They get stuck there, so if I could find a spot near here to farm the power ups. So that green one might be it. Because then I can just whap them like so. It's all about cheesing this. You don't play this legit. I'm just gonna hope this respawns fairly quick. Thing is, I don't know how the spawning works. It seemed like in the first map, it was all timed. But like, these seem to take forever. Yeah, no, you run all three speeds back to back, Mecha. I'm not getting any pickups here. Luckily, there's some skips and strats you can use. <laughs> Wrong curve. We got half our hits. There's no items to pick up. Like, this almost makes me want to just do the run with the current bike. There's a white one. Get yeeted. Yeah, expecting this to have normal categories. Okay, we're almost done with this map. I'm sorry. This one's been kind of a slog. Can't wait for the white lightning. I'm hoping it's worth it. Okay, just one more hit, guys, and we're there. Okay, just gotta find our target. Who's gonna be the sorry sap? Probably someone in this corner, because you know they get stuck here. What did I say? <laughs> there we go. We have 10 tournament points. Come on, white lightning. First uses white lightning, second is gone. Third, third uses a different bike. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go with what the record uses, most likely. I might experiment a little bit, but I might as well start from that perspective. I can get that white one. Oh my god, Whopper Jr. barely sniped it. Yeah, I'm thinking, what if I just stay around here? Hope that one respawns. Thing is, I don't know how often they're gonna respawn. You fuck. Okay, he didn't get it. Is this homing? Oh, I just wasted that. So yeah, that's gonna be my strat. Just wait here. And hope I can just sit on it and it'll respawn. That's the goal. Come 
Come on, game. Maybe I can't sit on it. Got multiple strats with different bikes. Uh, to a certain extent, I guess. That didn't pick up. There we go. Oh, if you go through it the wrong way. And we just wait for somebody to hit. Like them. What? It's probably because we're facing back. Oh my, it's because we're facing backwards. <laughs> yeah, GG. Yeah, this is real exciting. I'm sorry. This is painful. I'm like almost tempted to just do the run with a different bike. I'm gonna get through this. <laughs> Come on, Blitz Games. Yeah, right. Come on, Blitz Games. Getting tired of camping, and it's not even really working. Come on, just give me the auto hit one. It, it's because I'm totally not playing this as intended, but I don't want to be driving around and having the AI just take these power ups from me. This could take ages. Please hit. Okay, that did hit. There we go. Get three, three rocket hits in a row. That's how we do it. Okay, we're already halfway there. First baby, let's go. Time for bed. All right, take care, Barf. Thanks for hanging out, as always. Should pick up. Okay. Couple more launches, and we should be good. Of course, everybody's driving away from me right now. Take care, Barf. One sorry soul coming, coming my way. Where they were. <laughs> they were. I guess I'm going to go hunt them down. Not leaving till you see white lightning. We'll get there. They turned around on me. Is it oddly difficult to find people? That should have counted as a hit. Feel a little cheated on that one. Okay, just one more. That's all we need. Just get it over with. Somebody coming this way. We got him. There we go. Well, that was one of the more boring maps to do that. It's probably a better strat for that. Fix your game, honestly. This is the only game mode of this I would not recommend, really. It's a boring game mode. She's not, it's not good. I, you know what, I might stay here. Cause there's four item pickups. That might be the way to go. Hopefully they respawn. Yeah, it's, it's just boring and kind of broken. Pretty much. Of course, it's going to take forever to respawn. The thing is, we're already 60% through. So I might as well just suck it up and do the rest.
Wait, what if I, uh... Let's try something. Never mind. I can't. I can't go back. All the power-ups are gone, of course. Can't pick anything up. I mean, I get what they were trying to go for here. It just doesn't really work. It's this map, it's not even designed to go backwards on. Okay, this might be a spot to hang out at. Nope, they give you nothing. Never mind. Exactly, yeah, this is why White Lightning's the best one. Because they force you to do this. Precisely. There's nothing to pick up. This is killing me. Oh, and it missed. You gotta be kidding me. Yo, I can't do anything here. It's because the power-ups take so long to respawn. If, if, if they respawned quicker, this would not be an issue. The only reason this sucks is because the respawn time on these are garbage. Yeah, at least the AI is good about picking them, I guess. I guess that's a bright side. At least it's a decent AI. Fair enough. Okay, there should be some coming my way. There's one behind me. Oh my god, I totally messed that up. There we go. Okay, that's two. Ooh, the red ones. The red one, yeah, Blitz, come on. I'm just gonna farm them here. makes sense. Things I gotta wait for all the AI to loop back around. Any of them coming this way? Oh. I'm watching that minimap. There should be somebody coming up here. Oh, they're underneath. There's a lower level, I forgot. Are they getting stuck? I don't know what's happening. Honestly, I have no clue. Okay, there's a couple coming this way. I think I shot off the wrong thing. Okay, that's four. Come on, just two more. Just game, let me let me finish this, please. White lightning cannot come soon enough. <laughs> come on. I know this is such a slog. It's it's really unfortunate. I'm hoping the bike's worth it and I can actually use it. And it's not gonna like the handling's not gonna totally suck. I'm almost wondering if it would be faster just to run the course normally. Just seems like a lot of the AI beat me to the stuff. Okay. What? I pressed the power up button and it did nothing. Never play. I'm 
I think the speed the speed run's gonna be much more entertaining. This is like the worst the game gets, in my mind. It's the worst it could possibly get. That should have hit. Why? My god, we spent six minutes on this map, but it's felt like an eternity. It's felt like a damn eternity. Those red ones back. Some of them are. Okay. Let's finish this once and for all. want to make sure I'm close enough. Oh. That should have counted as a hit. The game is teasing. It, it, it really is. I just need one more. That's all I need. Oh my god. It missed again. Not gonna miss this one. There we go, finally. Okay, last map. Last map, and then we're done with this game mode. We never have to play it again. It probably, you know, it would be more entertaining if I just ran the laps. And I don't think it's gonna be any sh any uh, longer to do it that way. So let me just, let me just actually race. I'm not gonna try and spawn, like, you know spawn camp some of these power-ups it's not it's not a good way to go about it I don't think look well, everybody's taking everything there's like no good way to do this they took the white power up So close to done. This game mode is bedrock. What bedrock bowl? You don't like bedrock bowling? Zero out of ten. Okay. Uh. All right. Try and wait. There's a red one there. Just want to get my meter filled up. There's somebody coming this way. Okay, I was gonna be mad if that didn't hit. If we can get two, we can get three. We can just spam the one guy. We're halfway there already. This is going way faster. Yeah, this map seems to spawn cheese much better. I don't know why it's not letting me pick the items up, though. Being a little janky about that. Almost there. Two-thirds of the way there. Okay, one more hit. We're almost there. We almost have white lightning, guys. So damn close. Pick him up. I have to go be, be going a certain speed. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. This should be the time. Pumpkin Man comes in. You'd think. Okay. There is somebody coming this way. There we go. Done. Done. Never again. Never again, guys. We better have white lightning now. Blur 50. Okay, white. It's white lightning 50 CC, though. Guys, it's white lightning 50. We need white lightning 150. 
All right, am I gonna have to? Oh my god, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to unlock. That's why the other guy had played all of this stuff. If I have Little Dipper, I'm just gonna do it with Little Dipper. All that. So if I want White Lightning on every mode, I have to do Battle Royale in every mode. Never ending game mode. Let's just say... Should we just try a run with, with a different bike? I'm thinking that might be the, the proper way to go here. Although it is one o'clock. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll save the runs to another night. That's what I'm starting to think, because I'm already... It's 1 a.m. I should probably be starting to think about getting to bed soon, so... So much replay value. Oh, absolutely. Worth every, every minute. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll save the run for another night. Sorry to tease it and then not do it, but it will get done. I will attempt it. Maybe if I'm really feeling extra motivated, I'll do all that other crap off stream to get the white lightning for every every speed. Oh, it's a total tease. Absolutely. Let's say we raid somebody. The question is who? But thank you guys for hanging out. Glad we finished I Ninja. I'm gonna count this game is complete, even though we didn't have we didn't do every single little thing. Uh, I'm gonna do the speed run at some point. I guarantee it will happen. Just not tonight, unfortunately. Uh, maybe we should raid Matt. Matt's playing some Yee 7. Absolutely, Jeremy. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Thank you all for hanging out. Even those that may have fallen asleep to the stream. I totally get it. It is 1 a.m. For some of you, it's 4 or even later. Yeah, let's raid Matt. Let's raid Matt. He's playing Yee 7 on the PS2. Seems like a chill enough game. And he's one of my best streamer friends. So let's go say hi to him. Thanks, guys, again for hanging out. And hopefully I'll see you all within the next day or two. Maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe not. I can't quite promise. I do have work the day after, so we'll see. I'll let you know in the Discord. Anyway, good night, everybody. Let's get the raid going.